So here we go. I believe, I think this is session 29 of Kingmaker. So moving right along. Uh, but you guys are deep in the cradle of Lamash too, trying to uh, find the source of the, uh, whatever it is that's causing your citizens to explode into monsters. Uh, found some cultists, found the high priest, uh, found some, uh, some notebooks and stuff, talked to a ghost, uh, all kinds of fun things. Uh, but you are now safe to take a rest. Uh, you guys do have enough out of combat healing that you can make sure that everybody is uh, is fully healed and uh, and rested. All right, to the yurt. To the yurt. And uh, yes, yeah, so if anybody would like to read uh, Daravan's notes, they're uh, they are written in common. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm sure we can we can read them over as a group and have a little little book club about it. All right. Uh, so the notes detail um, plans to transform all of the stolen lands into a haven for Lamashtu's children. Uh, he was granted a vision of the caverns where there is a, um, like a dimensional breach, uh, which matches up with what, uh, what the, the ghostly druid Jin told you. Um, uh, Lamashtu, uh, had shown him a means of creating a thing called a, a bloom of Lamashtu, some sort of monstrous plant. Uh, the notes conclude that the bloom of Lamashtu grows quickly within the body of the most unusual chimera my goddess saw fit to provide, drawing its power directly from the corruption in the, in the breach, effectively transferring magical energy from the breach into the creature itself. Uh, there's a very brief description of this uh, this chimerical being um, it has a uh, I think it has a it has a vulture head a centipede head and a snake head uh, as opposed to your typical lion dragon goat I was gonna say that's not the typical loadout it is not it is a unique chimera gifted to him by uh, his goddess so c could you run that list by me again uh, it is a snake head a centipede head, and a vulture head. Snake, centipede, and vulture. Uh, the notes go on to say that after spending time with it, the Chimera Coast sees, sees me as its master, and when I speak to it in the mother's tongue, it obeys without question. Uh, the notes also mention that should the bloom host be destroyed, all my work will have been for naught. I must make that plans to. Promising. I must make plans to relocate the host somewhere more secure so the curse can spread. Host. Does he name the thing? Like, does it have a name? Name? Uh, he does not name it. No. Probably didn't want to get attached to it. But if it's fueled from the abyss, then it's likely demonic of some sort, right? Well, uh, assuming he's not Russian, the the mother's tongue might be demonic. Well, my concern is if it's demonic, then it's likely to be able to cause a great deal more agony to me than to you. But that works vice versa as well. I can speak diabolic. I think that's the, the new infernal. Uh, it is. Yeah, I think the, uh, the abyssal language is Chthonian. Yep. And Lalmashtu was a demon before she ascended to godhood. 
So yeah, I can't uh, I can't speak uh, demon tongue. Just devils. I might speak demon tongue. It's just taking me a second to open my character sheet. Oh, look, the professor's become slightly rotated once again. Yeah, it happens whenever I zoom in. Yeah, if you have your um, if you have your token selected when you mouse wheel, it'll rotate you. If you just like click someplace on the map so that your token's not selected, then you can zoom. Oh, gotcha. Uh, I think you can also zoom with the plus and minus keys, but that's keyboard stuff, and I don't do that. That's exhausting. Having to hit a whole other key for things. Uh, but yes, you guys, uh, you guys can safely rest. I mean, I assume you're going to keep watches just out of force of habit. Uh, but it is a it is a quiet, uh, although somewhat damp evening. The uh, the explorer's yurt though does keep you nice and dry. Oh, that's the main thing. Keep and dry. Yeah, I think you've already got experience tracker, Tom. Yeah, just noticed that. All right, uh, but yes, everybody can uh, make their make their spell selections, all that fun stuff. Uh, Jonathan, for your uh, your alchemist dedication, if you go to your uh, your crafting tab. Yeah, I saw the uh, prepare. Like daily alchemy. Yep. So what you can do is just uh, like the ones that you want to make for the day, just drag them up to alchemist dedication. And then when you hit perform daily crafting. Oh, gotcha. I see. I see. Okay, it'll, cool. it'll make those things for you. Sweet. Uh, and the default is one infused reagent to make two of the things. Yes. So yeah, I mean, Professor's a crafter anyway, but he starts breaking out all these little, like, vials and, and little alchemical station. Excellent. I assume that he's cooking drugs and leave him to his own devices. Uh, I am cooking drugs. There you go. But the good kind, right? Yeah, antidotes and anti flags. I mean, they're all good to a degree. Mm. Perspective, really. Cool. I think I got it to work. Yep, and then when you just hit your perform daily crafting, it'll make those things and take away your reagents and add them into your inventory. Um, I don't think it puts any sort of timer oh, yeah, on them, good. so for the ones that you don't use, they will expire tomorrow. Uh, it does actually. Oh, it's got a little icon. This item is temporary and will expire after a duration or during daily preparations. Oh, nice. Yeah, very neat. Yep. They do a great job on this module. They really, really do. They put a ton of work into it. All right. Uh, so yes, everybody, everybody gets some rest. Everybody can uh, put your hit points to maximum because you've got more than enough healing to do so. Between battle between uh, between Snow Maple and Father Hall and Traxton and uh, the professor, you guys have a ton of healing to get everybody up to full before you get into the next thing. Excellent. I do have Chthonian, by the way. Oh, there you go. There we go. So I can speak the demon tongue. 
while you make drugs. Yeah, while I make drugs. It's probably um, great for yodeling. So, I did make four antidotes. If anybody wants to drink one before we fight a plant monster, it'll give you a plus two bonus to fortitude saves against poison. <laughs> I'll take one. Go for it. I will toss three of them in the yeah. party stash. I'll happily take one. So Professor Cook says some things and like, here, drink this, trust me. Yeah. It'll it'll do nothing but make you feel better. That's what they all say. Yeah, there we go. They're in the party stash, whoever wants to drink them. I claimed one. My fort's pretty good, so... I'll take one. There's just one kicking around. I think we they called by again? now that my fortitude is trash. Uh, they uh, should be antidotes. Antidote lesser. Yep. Antidote That's the one. lesser. Fortitude is my We're second not best. Seeing it. Oh, and gone down enough. So yeah, so it'll, uh, plus two to fortitude saves versus poison for the next six hours. I also have Drake Heart Mutagens, uh, which will give you armor if you're unarmored. So there's one in the bag for if anybody wants them just to have if we get oh. ambushed while we rest. How do I take just one from the party loot? Uh, I'll drag it over to your sheet, and you should be able to select uh, one or okay. two. Okay. Gotcha. And then if you go ahead and click on it in the uh, in the inventory, it'll bring it up on the uh, on the chat menu, and you can click use. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Right. New features. Perfect. Was Traxon taking one as well, or is he just hanging on to one in case? Oh, he's going to take one and, and drink it, but I'm just getting into that. No worries. Yeah, figuring out the new part of the interface. Yeah, I can I can add the uh, the effect onto you, and then that way you don't have to worry about it while you continue picking your things for your level up. Oh, I'm done that. Okay, perfect. All right. Uh, so, yeah, so you guys get up in the morning. Professor cooks up some antidotes. Everybody's like, bottoms up. I'm sure this will help. Yeah. And you guys are going to make your way back over to where that wall was? Yeah, see if we can do some, I'm sure, careful excavation. First wall, yeah. The flower already hit it once, remember? Yeah. yeah. Whacked it pretty good. Yeah, yeah. You guys know that. I mean, it's not going to be quiet, but flower can definitely, like, break down that wall. Mm hmm. Hell yeah. Probably won't take him any more than, like, five, ten minutes. All right. You want to get cracking? Absolutely. Yeah, it'll be all warmed up by the time he's done. I think I will focus my efforts on uh, uh, removing the debris. All right. I'll make sure nothing comes up as we make this racket uh, behind us. Perfect. Just kind of keeping an eye open. Father Hall's got the shield at the ready, you know, clearing out the debris. Um, and as, uh, you know, when you kind of first, like, break through the wall, this, uh, this, like, kind of like cloying stench kind of like starts to assail your nostrils Ooh. what 
to let that breathe a minute. Uh, what and, is it? Sorry. Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, does, is there something to determine from the smell? Does it smell like dead or does it smell like an animal just being cooped up for a long time? Uh, a little bit of both and also this like overwhelmingly powerful floral scent. Uh, right. Gotcha. Hairs on back of neck rise. Was it vulture, centipede, snake? Vulture, centipede, snake. Okay. It's an interesting combo. Maybe we'll get lucky and it just won't have any legs. It's a combo. Yeah. yeah. What was that? Oh, the wall going down. That was the sound yeah. of the wall going down. Um, so yeah, and everything. finally, as uh, as flower like smashes through, and you can see that there is some, there is a fair degree of light beyond there from like these vaguely like varied glowing uh, fungal plants. The undergrowth is it is thick. Basically, everything in the next chamber is difficult terrain. Oof. Oh. So basically everything is five extra five extra feet for each square you move into and you can't step into difficult terrain. I, I don't ignore that. You know, I think I do. No, I don't. Sorry. Uh, and this uh, this smell kind of uh, kind of hits you. Uh, everybody can give me a uh, fortitude check. Ooh, my fireball this... in a bottle has recharged, hasn't it? It has. Is this against poison? Uh, I would say it is against poison, yes. Oh, nice. So, put turn on the antidote? Turn on the antidote. Yep. Excellent. Don't know who got that 19, but I hope... Or oh, using all the dice, Bell. It's probably for the best. This feels like a debuff to me. I rolled a 17. Is it going to be enough? Uh, yep. Probably not. 29, oh. 29 is enough. What's the total, though? Uh, the DC is 25. Oh. Okay. I'm going to... Do we have a hero point? I'm going to reroll that with a hero point. All right. Come it's on, buddy. Double because dead. I have... Oh, shit. You have the you have the, you have the best fortitude save in the group. Yeah. There you go. He should be Ooh. able to roll better. There we go, one. and that makes it a crit success. True, because right. it's a success. Yep. Uh, so not. so yeah. So this this scent assails you, uh, and everybody kind of like chokes down the, the the rising bile and vomit in your throats, but nobody is sickened. Sweet. Uh, and you can hear uh, something something very large moving further within this cavern. Uh, Chris? Yes? Uh, can I tie off a, a scarf to limit potential uh, pore inhalation? Uh, yes, you can. Awesome. Uh, I encourage everyone else to do the same. Might as well. Not a bad idea. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Here's hoping it helps. Do we... Yeah, that's the question. Do we want to try to burn this out? Or do we want to intermingle? It doesn't seem to be... Uh, immediately threatening. It's not like the yellow mold, was it, last time? It's just super thick vegetation, Trexan. You don't see you don't see anything uh, that looks dangerous amongst the plant life. Just a lot of it. Right. We're just pushing our way through. What's the what's the what's my thought on? Not that I actually question. Does it look all? It is all like that vibrant plant life, right? Like this doesn't look natural at all. Does it, it does not look natural at all. Okay, perfect. I got no problem then with um, this next suggestion. What do we? What does it look like if we, um, like, jungle bivouacked our way through? Like, if we cut our way through, is that an option? 
Um, I mean, it is a job of work. Uh, like, yeah, it would take you some time. I mean, difficult terrain just slows you down. Cutting your way through slows you down. So, you know, the only the only advantage of cutting your way through would have would if you need to retreat, you would have a clear path back out. Right. Which is always a good idea to have, whether you I end think up having to retreat or not. A faster way, yeah. Um, yeah, I think that maybe sounds worth it. I feel like we're not uniquely prepared, but pretty prepared for that. Like, Snow Maple's got a, a um, authentic flame sword, and I've got the smoldering sword, right? Yeah. Uh, and some of the plants do uh, retreat back from the touch of flame. Oh, that's good. All right. Uh, what? I guess Snow Maple will start bushwhacking. What's, sorry, real quick, what's their reaction to cold iron, too? Any? Um, nothing, I mean, the occasional plant here or there. Right. But it's not like we wave it around and they back off or anything. Right. And like, not all of the plants are, are susceptible to flame and not all of them are susceptible to cold iron, but there's a few here and there. Right. All right. Uh, Snow Maple, as you kind of make your way, you see down here... Some big ass flower. Sorry, flower. Amongst oh, the there it is. Yeah, amongst the oh, uh, the foliage, this hideous monstrosity. The fuck is that? It's no yeah, need. That's, that's the reaction. No need of that. Yeah. Uh, this this huge mutated beast with like the head of a vulture, the head of a snake, uh, kind of growing out of one side, the head of a giant centipede growing out of the other side, these wings, um, uh, like a kind of like a rattler's tail. Yeah, I was gonna say it kind of looks like the snake is going just all the way through it. Uh, kinda, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, and uh, folks are probably gonna want to roll some initiative. All right. Uh, I guess I didn't get far. I hope it doesn't fire off the snake like a harpoon. <laughs> snake a bolt? Just comes right out of it, you know what I mean? Yeah. I guess we'll see. We will. Um, before you mentioned, uh, it's a bit of a stretch, but before you did mention we could hear something down here, can I hunt and pray it before we got in here or no? Uh, I would say yes, you heard it. Okay. Probably hiss clicks or squawks of some sort <laughs> all of the above <laughs> yeah hissing clicking squawking the rattling of a tail the sound of something very large moving the uh uh Traxon would probably pick up kind of a, an acrid smell as uh some of its uh, acidic saliva drips onto the plant life wings flapping yeah. wings flapping it's it's a creature that looks like it smells bad <laughs> it does sorry here we go Oh, and all that, I get a three. Excellent. Still faster than Father Hull. Starting off well. Am I? That's good. <laughs> you are. It's okay for the human to last. Either. Don't worry about it. Uh, so. Not that I need to be first. But... Uh, it sees you coming. Nah, Glowy Sword will do that. Really heard us coming big, big time too. Not a huge fan how clumped up we are. Just thinking the same thing, but I there's didn't not really a choice. Uh, so it kind of turns and it uh, breathes out uh, a stream of poison from its snake mouth. There we go. Uh, uh, which will get uh, Snow Maple, Traxton, and Gratch, all of whom need to make Fortitude saves. Uh, antidote, yes? Uh, yeah, it is poison. All right. That could just kill Gratch. Shush. Man, you're so helpful today. Wait, Gratch only has so many hit points right now. I'm going to try oh, to know. Not nearly Not 11 D6. as many as any of us. Mm. I got a 31. Hopefully that doesn't, does it. And Gratch time. Uh, 
Oh, good boy. All right. Uh, so. Uh, so it was 47 poison damage. So 47 to Snow Maple, and then half of that to Traxton, and half of that to Gratch. Is that 23? Do you round down in Pathfinder? Uh, you round down. Okay. It's 23. Right. Uh, and I'm pretty sure the antidote stopped Snow Maple from critically failing, so... <laughs> the second time, probably, on the lower roll. Uh, but yeah, it just breathes out this, like, this stream of, like, a caustic poison. Bet you this thing has a bunch of actions, too, because it has three heads. Uh, and then it moves further back into the foliage. Uh, taking us to Professor Yorin. I will delay. Taking us to Flower. Uh oh, I can step in difficult terrain, so that's something important. Oh, that's excellent. Uh, I can't actually see where this is from where I'm standing. I think it should have been further up. But yeah, you, 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 been... yeah, you could absolutely be like in there beside like Hall or beside the professor. Otherwise, yeah, I'll. Nice. That'd be like. Like your... there? Yeah. Yeah. So you saw where it was, and then it stepped back. Hey. Mm. Uh, Sorry, all this I'm foliage was difficult to... terrain, right? All of the foliage is difficult terrain. Okay. Correct. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. So I'm still... on. Doesn't, doesn't work for me. I think it's not working where... Um, I can't move my... Yeah, right now it's just doing like a, the box select. Where much would you like to move? When you step there, oh, you I do see it. Now. It is all the way down oh. here. Mm -hmm. Scary monster. I would like to. Huh. Do I sudden charge now? If you want to might, get to it, you probably have to. It might not get you. I'm going to sudden charge it. So I think. So sudden charge is. What's your speed? Uh, 70. No, hold on. My, if I sudden charge. I'm not raging. Hold on. I, it's been a while since I've like actually thought about this. Speed. Speed is. 25. So that's 10, 20. So if you sudden charge, mm -hmm. you can get to there. I didn't see the thing come over. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I used one action to move to where I'm at right now. Yep. Right? Okay. I'm going to stand right here. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to not move? You're going to stay where you were? Or you're going to move I forward? might move, like... I'm, I'm pro I'll move, like, over here-ish. Okay. Yeah, a sudden charge will let you get there. Yeah. Or two strides, either way. Yeah, I'll just... Two strides. Okay. That'll take us to Snow Maple. All right. Uh, flower went to there. I'm just going to head in along the wall here and see how far I can get. Uh, this looks like a great place to hide. Yep, perfect. Looks like a tree stump uh, in front of me. Uh, probably like just some sort of giant plant thing. Yeah. 
Uh, either way, it might give some shelter from potential future poison spewings. Uh, yeah. Do you want to do you want to take cover behind it as an action? Yes, please. Okay. Mm. Uh, so yeah, it, it would norm it would provide you with uh, standard cover normally, and then because you're taking cover, it goes to greater cover. And uh, want me to roll a stealth? Uh, uh, if you would like to. That is the if, plan. If you're stealthing with cover, you also add the cover bonus to your stealth check, I'm pretty sure. You do. So it'd be a plus four to your stealth. Oh, it's on. Look at that. Yep. 39. Oof. Okay. Excellent. Right. So yeah, so Snow Maple, you guys see her slink into the underbush and just kind of disappears. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's all three actions, right? Because it's uh, move, take cover, right, hide. Yep. Okay. Uh, that'll take us to the professor. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna hide behind this big yellow mushroom. Okay. That'll give me, that'll be 20 feet. So I guess I'll stride again. And be there. And I will exploit vulnerability on this horrible creature. All right. I will hero point it. Okay. Ah, success. Sweet. Uh, and DC 29 is actually enough for having the applicable lore. So you can learn a thing about it. Um. Well, I already get to know any weaknesses or vulnerabilities it has. Uh, none. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'll get a personal antithesis for it. Okay. And... Does it have any reactionary abilities we need to watch out for? Uh, you're pretty sure if you get too close to it, each of those heads is able to, uh, to take a snap at you. Gotcha. Cool. Gross. Um. I'm actually going to stride to the other side of the mushroom with so. my movement to make sure flowers within 15 feet. Yep. So just in the interest of full disclosure, uh, is that three attacks of opportunity? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, although an important thing is you can only uh, you can only trigger one reaction per triggering thing. Right. Right. So like it doesn't get to take all three attacks of opportunity on one person moving into. Right. Oh. But it'll get the, the snake head or the the centipede head or the vulture head. Yep. And if three people calls on it, they'll each get one. Yep. And and we can't step. Right. And you can't step. Well, flower, uh, snow maple can step. Snow maple can step, yeah. Uh, uh take yeah, us that's, that's gross. me. Take us to Traxton. Okay. I'm going to move. So, one. Uh, if anyone's curious, the general feat is called two, Feather Step. Three. Four. Because I get one square per 10 feet, right? Uh, one square per 10 feet. Right, I got 40. Uh, gonna go move again. One, two, three, four. Um, you see that ping there? Uh, yep. I did that down by the creature. If I'm in that square, can I melee attack that creature? Uh, yes. Okay. Same for the square. Yeah, next if you to hover it. over yep. it, you can see the red outline of its box. Yep. It's oh, okay. As long as I'm adjacent to that, gotcha, gotcha. All yep. Right. Uh, I believe I'm going to move again just one more second. Well, I need to count a square or two. I do think it's interesting how they love to make uh, oversized tokens. 
but they they still manage to scale them correctly. Yeah. Uh, what's what's the what's the take cover? Is that one action? Take cover is one action. Okay. And is it possible to take cover anywhere here, or is it just by the large things I see? Uh, pretty much anywhere. It's just a question of whether you're lesser going up to standard or standard going up to greater. Okay, I got you. If there's a, a obstacle there, it's it's a bit better. Exactly. Okay, understood. Uh... Actually, that was too... Yeah, I'll, I'll stay there and uh, take cover. Okay. Actually, no. I'm sorry. I'll move one more. And uh, I'm going to just move Gratch down. Move for him for his movement, but that's my turn. Okay. He gets four as well. Yeah. Oh, did you take the hit points off of Troxton? From the poison? Oh, I didn't. I didn't. Sorry. Okay. Uh, just where we had the issue before with having the wrong token on the map. I just wanted to double check. Gotcha. Twenty. It was twenty. It was half, right? So Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Gotcha. Okay. Perfect. Uh, that'll take us to Father Liam. Father Liam is so slow. Uh, I'll stride, I guess. Or my two tire moves. Okay. Two hexes, I guess. That's that's one one action, but uh, two squares. Fifty feet away. Mm -hmm. so I got a wall in front of me. Okay. I'd be able to see him from there. I guess I could see him, so I should be able to shoot him. Yep. Yeah, shoot him yeah, with your the shoot him with your crossbow. Good. Something similar, I suppose. Father Liam needs to petition Abadar to let him have a different weapon. Mm -hmm. There's a feat for that. There is. I was going to heal Snow, but I can't see uh, 39 still. That's true. Well, hopefully, if you can't see me, neither can the monster, so hopefully I'm all right. Mm. I wouldn't hope too hard. How big is this guy? Oh, yeah. Okay. He is he is huge. So he's what, 15 feet across? Uh, yeah, 15, 20 feet across. Yeah. All right. I'm going to cast a lucinary object. All right. We'll put a big old cage around it like we've done before. Oh. No holy tiger. Well, at least he stops moving. It's true. Yeah. 20 foot burst, yeah. Big old cage. And 500 foot range on that, too. Wow, 500 feet, 20 foot, lasts for 10 minutes. Yeah, not bad. It mostly just eats a, a an action from it, but it's a boss. So. Yeah. So, illusionary cage slams down, kind of green lantern like. Shunk. It feels right to the touch. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, if it touches it, it does get to make a seek action to try to disbelieve it. Yeah, but it always eats an action, right? So that's, that's, it's always good. Um, yeah. Well, it's almost always good. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to... Uh, it's going to use its frightening rattle. Uh, any creature within 30 feet of it... Uh, which is Traxton, Flower, and Snow Maple all. Uh, I need to make a will save. Oh. I don't do well on these. Here we go. Oh, maybe I did. Probably not. So it is DC 29. Right. Oh, oh, just got it. Um, oh, oh, here's the counter performance. All right, here we go. So, uh, here we go. So you have the option of taking your role or the professor's performance role. Which role might be better? 
to 28, so it'll still be a failure, but not a critical failure. I'll take it. Same. Okay. Nice job, bro. I tried. I mean, you're still a crit failures. That's good. Yes, that's very true. All right. So, uh, Snow Maple and uh, Flower are both frightened. Actually, Flower. Flower would not be because he's within his Marshal's aura. Oh, yeah. I think Snow Maple is just outside it, though. Yep. Right there we go. So that was one action. Uh, it is going to try to like move towards Flower, but that means the cage is in the way. So it makes a seek roll. That's lots. Yeah. Oh boy. So there is like a flutter of wings as it kind of like launches itself through the air, lands next to Traxton and Flower. Uh, but that is all three of its actions. Um, real quick, disrupt prey because that's what I took. Do, do I get to attack this thing if it moves on to me? Uh, disrupt prey. Ooh. Uses a move action, it says. Uh, yes, it would have had to use a move action because it didn't actually fly. It moved and it would have moved within a square that you are uh, threatening. So, yes, you do get an attack of opportunity on it. Excellent. Dang it. Oh, well. But the first attack of opportunity any PC has had in the game. Cool. Sure. We have uh, the ability. Yeah. Uh, that will take us to Flower. Actually, hold on. I think I also get to do a thing. Yep. I think I also get to make an attack opportunity. Yep, but it didn't move through a square you were threatening. It moved to a square you were threatening. Oh, shit. That's right. Yeah. It wanted you, it didn't want me, right? <laughs> I really tried, so it's right up in my grill now, yeah? It is right up in your grill. I am going to rage. Yeah. Yeah, because your weapon doesn't... You don't have reach unless you're growing, right? Yeah, I have an uh, extra five if I grow. Yeah, but without growing, you don't have reach. Yeah, we rage... And we are going to grow. Okay. We're going to swing on it. All right. Come here, you overgrown turkey. Uh, that is a hit. It's not a crit. Oh, shit. Yeah, well. Uh, so yeah, so flower gets bigger. Um, and just so you guys know, the, the the ceilings in here are about fifty feet high. Like it is a it is a large cavern. Um, so yeah, you you connect solidly with it. Uh, that'll take us to Snow Maple. Yeah, uh, I think I'm going to hunker down for a turn. Uh, possibly do some battle medicine. Possibly, definitely. Possibly, definitely, yeah. Oh. Okay. Fuck me. Uh, you do have a hero point if I want to reroll it. Yeah, yeah, I would like to do that. It's not going to let me do that. Awesome. Uh, I can do it on this end.
Okay, a bare minimum success. I'll take it. Yeah. Skin to the teeth. Uh, so it's 2d8 plus 10. Wow. Like my. Well, get these low rolls out of your system now when you're safely behind cover. Yeah. Uh, safely. And um, what are the advantages of uh, stealthing again? Like, there was there was like levels of. Well, right now. Uh, well, right now you are hidden from it. Yeah. Uh, if you uh, if you move from where you are and make your stealth roll, then you will be uh, you will go to undetected. Okay. Like hidden means it can target you, but it's got to make a flat check and everything. Right. Uh, undetected means it can't target you. So did battle medicine. If I step and third action sneak again, uh, does yeah, that do it? You can certainly try. Like, the, uh, the sneak is part of your movement, so... Like, sneak... Basically, sneaking is the action, and it allows you to move up to half your speed. Oh, okay. Okay. It does not seem to react to you. Okay. And you do have a third action still. Oh! Uh, well, I guess we'll give it a try. Pokey pokey. A little jabbity pokey. Um, are there any situational modifiers for being snucked up on it? Uh, it's off guard. Oh, okay. Awesome. All right. Next. Okay. Uh, that will take us to the professor. Uh, I, against my better judgment, would like to see what this thing's organs look like. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to cast organ sight. Make a will save. Uh, I fail. Yep. <laughs> um, Crazy. So yeah, uh, I don't know if I apply this effect to myself or the guy. Uh, I think to you. Okay. We'll we'll see how that goes. Let's we'll see how it goes. Um, so yeah, I will do an esoteric lore check. Okay. Uh, 27 is not enough. Its organs are, its organs are a mismatch of, uh, of different things. You can't make uh, heads or tails out of it. That's fine. I'll just take an attack for now and try again next turn. Okay. Oh, I would have had my crossbow out. Uh huh. I don't have ammo assigned to my crossbow. Uh, Hang on. I'll just, I'll roll the, the attack for now. Uh, 31 will hit. Oh, apparently you are out of bolts. I have some in the bag of holding. Yeah, you would have grabbed some. Yeah. Uh, it's just 2d6 plus 4, so. And damage. Plus uh, 6 from my weakness. 
There you go. I have assigned ammo. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Uh, so 16. Yep. And that's me. Oh, it is looking injured. Uh, that will take us to Traxton. Mm-hmm. All right, let's get Gratch activated. Move him 30 feet in, get some support. And try and stab this thing a bunch. So I'll try and uh, hit it the three times a flourish and another strike. Okay. Smoking sword. I think that hit. 33 hits. Excellent. Offhand. I'll give that a reroll. Oh well. And another strike. Oh, I forgot Gratch. He gets some damage. Yep. D8. And Smoking Sword one time. Right. Uh, that will take us to Father Liam. Somebody hit it, right? Uh, yes. I would like to take an opportunistic backstab. Awesome. Oh, all these reaction attacks are doing work. Oh, you got reaction too. Nice. We've hit the reaction level. Good job. 34 is a hit. Should actually be one more because I forgot to tick down your frightened, but that won't make it a critical. No worries. Dang it. Oof, 19. Nice. All right. So, yeah, as the Traxon like cuts into it, Snow Maple, you're like, oh shit, there, right where the wing joins the centipede head. Yeah. And That's that, it. And then you That's stab him. Then you cut him. Uh, that'll take us to Father Liam. Right. Um, pretty simple for me. This is so far going well. That will pain soon, I'm sure. But uh, I'm going to stride. Through all this brush. Um, I'm going to raise my shoot. Okay. And I guess I'm going to straight again. That's as far as I can go. It's my second diagonal. So. Okay. Yep, that's me. Okay. Oh, that will take it to it. It's gotten attacked by three different people. It's true. So it is going to do a three-headed strike. Uh, so it attacks with all three heads, but it has to separate target individuals with each one. Uh, so kind of going around the corner, it is going to basically start with Traxton with the centipede. So it's going to be uh, 21 damage to Traxton. Oh, that was on Flower. But uh, it still hits Traxton. Oh, I, I don't... Our... Yeah, 27 will still hit. I had the wrong person target. Their ACs are the same, I think. Flowers is lower. Oh? Not by a lot, but you, lower. You and I are at uh, 26, I think, and Flower is a little bit less. Uh, so that is going to be 21 combination of piercing and acid damage. I'll uh, champion's reaction there. All right. So you reduce that by 9, 8, 10. 10 now. 
Uh, so it's going to be 11 damage to Trexton. Okay. Oh, I He's out of my reach. I can't hit him. What's the what's the wording on Champion's reaction? What's the wording on it? Yeah, uh, because I know with um, my amulet ability, it would reduce both damage types. I'm curious if the Champion wants the same thing. That's a good question. Uh, yeah, ally gains resistance to all damage against the triggering damage equal to 2 plus your level. Yeah, so it would actually it would actually block uh, it would block all seven of the acid and then ten of the piercing. Nice. Good catch, Barf. Because of the way, because you're getting resistance all, so it's different damage types. Uh, and then the claw against flower. It's going to be a critical hit. I disagree. Actually, sorry, that would have been, <laughs> I don't want it. That would have been the fangs, sorry, not the claw. So that would be the snake fangs. Uh, would only be a 35 to hit, so that's actually just a normal hit. That's good. Oh, minimal damage. Oh, I'm to roll the right ones. And I'll do the uh, amulet surveillance on that one. Uh, so, okay, so it's going to be 29, so 19 to flower. And I need a fortitude save from the snake uh, poison. Okay. Uh, 20 is not enough. Oh, on. Oh, oh, what no. is up with me? Is 20 I still have a hero enough? Do I have a hero point right now? Uh, I you, 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 you do have one hero point. I'm going to use it. All right. That was a two on the dice. Make sure to turn on your antitoxin too, by the way. Oh, shit, I didn't. Oh, there you go. That is uh, that is a success. The poison, the poison does not take hold. Crit success. Sweet. Uh, and then the vulture beak is going to strike out at uh, Snow Maple. Oh. For a critical hit. Oh, sure. Uh, 34 damage and a ton of bleeding. Wait, what? Haha, <laughs> he bit himself. Yeah, excellent. Oh. Okay, uh, so that was two actions. Uh, his third action. Uh, he is going to. Oh, he's going to bite flower again. So yeah, the uh, the three headed strike takes two things, and his map doesn't apply until after they're all done. Punch him in the mouth. All three <laughs> attacks. All three attacks count as one attack. Uh, I'll, they count for his multi-attack, but the multi-attack isn't assessed until the end of the three attacks, and each of the attacks does take a minus two initially. Oh, okay. But it means his fourth attack is at his minus ten. Right. Starts at the at the biggest um, penalty. Yeah. Uh, but that will miss flower. Uh, that is him. Just a whirlwind of heads going everywhere. Hey, Snow, I'm coming to get you. Yeah, Snow Maple is bleeding very, very badly. Persistent damage happens on the end of your turn? The end of your turn. Gotcha. Uh, that will take us to Flower. 
Cool. Uh, Flower is going to activate Dread Marshal Stance. Yeah. Oh. Or, no, or not. <laughs> no. Don't do it first. He's gonna, every, every, he's gonna swing. Everybody's more afraid he of it than they are of Flower. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I have to. I, I have to show it what it's supposed to be afraid of first. You gotta do something. We'll else, swing yeah. on it. Uh oh. Oh man! Come on! Oh, it's just oh. God. Back to back everything's, ones. Everything's thrown off now. <laughs> oh. You know what? You, you, you know what? We're gonna take another swing. Fish for the crit. Yep. <laughs> You're due now. Yeah. Oh no, my no, goodness! No. no. Just, uh, just, okay, it wasn't a one. At least it wasn't a one. Oh my god. It's all tangled up in the play. Oh crit, crit fail, crit fail, crit fail. Uh, that will take us to uh, Snow Maple. All right. Well, I'm not dead yet. That is true. Uh, that is a hit. Nice. Oof, 25. Damn. Uh, second action, I'll... I'll use my... healer's gloves. Okay. You still had him targeted, but... Oops. It's okay. It hasn't actually done the healing yet, so... You can just roll it and I can make sure it's applied to you. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Um, and... Uh, third action... Might as well put up the shield. Okay. Just gotta keep on your feet long enough for Hall to get to you. Yeah. Okay. Take five bleeding damage, which is... Well, as long as I didn't take it twice. Uh, no, it was 2d6. Uh, but you are still bleeding. Uh, that'll take us to the professor. I'm just going to reload, try to find out where his organs are, and try to shoot them. All right. Yeah, it's it's organs like you're like wait, does it is that a heart? No, wait, maybe that's a liver. Maybe oh, so maybe <laughs> it's so many organs. It has way more I, organs than it should. I can't tell. It's got seven livers and eight hearts. <laughs> yeah, ten lungs. It's like a creature designed by the Klingons. Yeah, right. So many redundant systems. Um, yeah, just gonna shoot. Okay. There you go. Uh, that is a hit. Oh, weapon specialization. <coughs> Interesting. Two extra damage. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. And if you, uh, I think that means if you crit, you probably do something extra. No, I only got. Um crit specializations if I have a weapon implement. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, that'll take us to Traxton. Alrighty. I will spend an action to activate Gratch. Okay. Not support, so he can bite and claw this thing, hopefully. Uh, do 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 Lead with the bite. 
Hey, good man. Very nice. Damage. And claw. Uh, oh well, he got one. Yep. And my turn. I'm gonna try and stab it a bunch. Hello. Oh, very nice. Not quite a crit because I didn't get a chance to mark, but because you crit on the first one, it is off guard now. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, but off that, guard for snow anyway, right? Yep, but it's also off guard for like anybody that's including the professor, like anybody until Trax's next turn. Everybody, yep. I hit with that other one anyway, so yep. here we go. Oh, off guard to ranged attacks? That's pretty sweet. It's off guard I to need, everything. I need another d6 on that, right? Uh, yes, because you're doubling rings. There we go. And one last attack. Right. Mm -hmm. cool. uh, that is a miss. All right. Fire Rangers, man, they roll so much. I'll uh, yeah. jump in and take the opportunistic backstab. Uh, yes, absolutely. Oh. Well. I mean, a free attack, more or less. Uh, take us to Father Liam. Oh, I attacked Ooh. myself. God damn. Super easy turn. I've got to raise a shield. And yeah, i got to heal Snow Oh, thank you. Well, that's not bad. There you go. Oof, that's enough. Did it heal you fully? It did heal you fully. Yeah. And uh, that also clears the bleed. Perfect. Excellent. I was hoping to be able to hit high enough. Excellent. Okay. I'm up to 70 hit points, but I'm still lower than everyone else, I'm pretty sure. Except for Gretch, probably. Yeah, his max yeah. is uh, 62. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, that yeah. will take us to its turn. Uh, it is off guard. What is it going to do? Oh, it has people. Does it have reach? Don't think so, or it's missed a couple attacks. Like uh, it, it does not have reach. It does, however, have a charged breath weapon. Oh, well. It's true. Uh, so it is going to... Uh, it is going to breathe. Right through Gratch, Father Liam, and the Professor. No. Ugh. Oh, I'll make a very upset fortitude save. Uh, I say that. Fort save was it? Fortitude save. Uh, can I spend a hero point for that? Uh, for Gratch? Sure. Yeah. Okay. I'll use Amulet Sabayance on Gratch. Okay. Can you, um, can you knock off a hero point for me, or can I do that? Uh, you should be able to do it. Okay, because I, it just doesn't have, there we go. Oh. Oh. Okay. I'm getting rid of them. Go, no. <laughs> you got it? I'm adding them, I think. I don't know what's happening. All right, I'm leaving it alone. 
I should have none. Perfect. All right, there we go. What's the save on that, Chris? Uh, 29. Go. Cool. Very simple, did it? So oh. Your holy symbol saved you. And all oh, retribution strike, uh, or yeah, my reaction to prevent damage to pro Professor. All right. Uh, so Professor failed, so it's going to be 47, so 37 to the prof. Uh, and then uh, half of 47, so 23 to Father Liam. And then uh, 47, 37 to Gratch. Oof. Okay. Gratch has two hit points left, but he's still standing. I know how it feels, uh, Pa. Uh, just, sorry, uh, real quick. With, with, if he goes to zero, is he dead, or does he get he get death stuff, too? Um, for com I'll look it up later, but for companions, I'm tempted to say they get death rolls. Okay. I hope so. Okay. Uh, and then for his third action, he is going to... Hmm, who hurt him? Who hurt him the most? I think Flower actually hurt him the most. I stabbed him twice last time. Oh, that's true. Just saying. That's true. It might be 50-50, you know what I mean? True. Although I think Flower hasn't hit him in a while. That's true. Flower didn't hit him last time. Uh, mm -hmm. But he's fairly smart. Uh, so on a one, it's going to be Trax, and on a two, it's going to be Flower. Three brains. Oh. Bring it. Come on. Hit me. There's, gonna, there's a little bit of an argument, and then he's going to bite Flower in the face with his snake fangs. Three heads for you. Hey, well. Uh, oh, didn't get a critical. That's good. It's going to bite you for 24 damage, though, and a fortitude save. Let's go. Fortitude save. Come on. Oh, my God. Ah. No points left. Uh, so the venom courses into your body uh, I never activate I don't think it would have helped me when I never activated the antidote um, no it would not have uh, so yeah, it's going to be I don't think it would have 8 more poison damage uh -oh. and you feel your strength starting to like ebb out of your body as you are enfeebled Oh, do I ever. Uh, and it is your turn. What can I do here about that? Could, do I just, li just live with the poison for now? Yeah, uh, basically at the at the end of the round, you get to make that fortitude to save again. It'll either drop okay. to uh, step zero, which means it clears your system, or it'll go to step two. Okay. Well, then I'm just going to swing on him and hope for the best. Oof, that Think is a that. hit. I swing okay. blindly at the moment. All right. Uh, so, um, how would you like to do this? Um, that head that just like grabbed, like, hit me. As it's like recoiling, I'd like to since I'm rather big i'd like to kind of grab the head as it's trying to go back yeah uh i want to like make as if i'm i, I ri just rip that head off and have it spew b blood all over the place and just another there, still there two is other a heads, lot of blood but... on the ground there is yeah all right no um... there's still two other heads but like we'll workshop it <laughs> all right uh so yeah so as uh flower like grabs it and like basically tears the head off of this thing uh there is this explosion so everybody within 60 feet oh, yeah. yes oh god no okay. 
Everybody within 60 feet heals 41 points. Oh. What? Okay. That's concerning. <laughs> did I? Did definitely I won't. That? Definitely won't cause cancer. Definitely. Just, Sorry, I, did you say we heal 41? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I thought too. I, I don't want it to heal. Oh, God, it's another thing. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so as the uh, as the chimera explodes, uh, this 12, 14 foot tall plant with like seed pods like just hanging from it, like very ripe fruit, um, materializes. Um, like like comes from elsewhere or comes out of this thing like we've seen before, but with monsters. Comes out of this thing. Okay. Excellent. Everybody got their 41 points of healing? Just about. Yeah. The Russian nesting plant. At least it's getting smaller. I think that brings me back to full. Yeah, next 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 time it'll be like 42 of the little the little tiny <laughs> right. around it. Right. Uh, I, I don't still have organ sight on this, do I? No, that creature exploded. Okay. It doesn't have organs anymore. Organs Plants have before, organs, yeah. right? Well, they have different kind of. They have organelles. Different, different tissue structures. Their cells have organelles. Uh, that'll, uh, so that was Flower's first action. You still have two actions. I, oh man. I'm going to, uh, I, ha I have reach on this because I'm back here now. Yep. Because I'm big. I'm just going to swing a second time. And it should be off brand. Answer, but it didn't do it. Um, and lastly, I'm going to Dread Marshal. I fear me plant. Fear me plant. Damn it. <laughs> Probably doesn't have ears. Okay, that's me. It fears you not. Right. Uh, that will take us to Snow Maple. All right. Well, I've still got Gratch uh, next to this creature, so I can stab it. Of course. Oh. Um, and I forgot, at the end of your turn, Flower, I do need you to make a uh, fortitude save. Um, I'll try battle assessment. Okay, one sec. Okay, uh, so as a quick assessment, so the poison has worked its way through your system. Uh, battle okay. assessment. Uh... So there's a... Uh, does it have stealth? Oh, it does have stealth. Uh, so. Just looking up what exactly I tell you. Which of its weaknesses is highest, which of its saves is the lowest, which immunity or resistance is the highest. Uh, so, uh, it is an unholy thing and has a weakness to, uh, to holy damage. All right. Uh, I will shout out, blast it with holy. Uh, and I will try to take a third action, second stab at it. 
Okay. Because I can't do holy damage for nothing. Same. Same. Uh, 27 is a hit. All right. Um, can I add my uh, basic finisher for a d6 extra panache? Uh, yes. All right, I will do that. Uh, so yeah, two additional precision damage normally, and then finisher for 2d6 extra precision. I don't think the 2d6 extra was included in there, was it? Uh, um, it, it said one. Uh, weapon specialization, sneak, 2d6, precise, precise. Yep, there it is. Okay. Yeah, it could be lower if it's from the archetype rather than from the class. Yeah. But it stacks with my regular sneak attack, so that's good. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Uh, and that was piercing damage. Okay. Got it. Uh, it does not seem to be nearly as effective as you would have liked. All right. Uh, can I share that information as well? Uh, yes. All right. Uh, that'll take us to the professor. I would like to exploit uh, vulnerability. All right. Uh, that is a success. Uh, and you do get to find out something because of your diverse lore. What? What vulnerability? Or no, I know it's vulnerabilities. What resistances does it have? Uh, it, it, is, it is resistant to bludgeoning and piercing. Also bludgeoning. Gotcha. Okay. Well. Almost like it's a plant. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, it's mm. not a plant. I don't think I have a way to do slashing. So I will rely on using Father Hall's old holy symbol to give it just enough holy juice to, to do some damage. Okay. Um, so yeah, I will, uh, I think, just reload and strike with my crossbow. All right. Um, it's not currently off guard, right? Uh, no, it is. it is not. Then I will use the free action from the stag helmet to get it off guard. Oh, it's off guard to the melee. Cause it's I'm... off guard because of melee, because of your gang up. Yeah. For some reason, my versatile doesn't want to shift over to slashing. Nice. Might be an option when you roll the damage, maybe. Yeah, I'll check. Uh, 30 is a hit. Should be an extra 10 for the holy. Yep. It does not seem to be as effective as you'd hoped, but at the same time, still oh. kind of effective. Yes, right. Piercing resistance. Yep. Um, but yeah, that is my turn. Okay. Uh, that will take us to Traxton. Hmm. I'm going to make some exclamation about, oh, what fresh hell is this? Uh, and move to this location. Yeah, there is so much uh, blood. Oh, yeah. Mechanically speaking, this thing is not still my hunted prey, right? It is not. It is an entirely different creature. But, okay. Uh, in that case, let's reapply that, uh, and I will try and stab it a bunch, uh, and Gratch will take his free attack. Or free one action, and use it for attack. Do -do -do. Try and bite it. Bite it, he did. Oh, he bit it really good. Damage. My turn. Uh, 
Oh, I hit. Excellent. That is a hit. And, uh, um, so that does seem to be effective. Uh, as a reaction. Uh oh. Uh, as you hit it with a slashing weapon, you slice it open and it like sprays this acid all over you. Oh. Do not like. Oh my god. Uh, oh Jesus. I need you to make a uh, basic reflex save. Good lord. So piercing, bludgeoning, bat. Uh, slashing also bat. Uh, 29 is a success because evasion becomes a critical success. You take no damage from the acid. Excellent. Oh my god, this thing, yeah. When you stick it, it, it spits goo on you. Oh, yeah. all right. You, it, uh, you did cut a big hole in it, though. It's true. All right. We're um, gathering information I, here. This is, this is some science going down. Okay. But it didn't, it didn't do it to the piercing, right? It did not, uh, it did not spew acid from the piercing, no. All right, uh, I still have my offhand, so let's do that. That seems to hit. Uh, that is a hit. All right, damage, and one more d6 incoming. Okay. And I think that's it. Move, pray, two attacks, yep. All right, uh, when Tom's done, I'll trigger opportunistic uh, backstab. All right, perfect. And miss. Well, you guys are rolling a lot of ones. Yeah. Dice Roller hates me today. Uh, that will take us to Father Liam. Well, I don't get to shoot things often, so I'm going to try to shoot something. By all means, fire at will. I gotta cast Sure Strike. What are the traits on Sure Strike? It just gives me advantage, basically. Uh, does it have manipulate? Oh. Nope. Uh, no. Okay. Concentrate mind fortune. Concentrate fortune. Yeah. Yeah. If this is if this thing doesn't manipulate too, I get to attack it. Yep. I think Flower does as well because of his positioning and his reach. Yeah. Uh, this spell. Does have manipulate. Okay. It does not have an attack of opportunity. Jesus. Chris. Mind games. Oh, that's the wrong spell. That's not the spell I wanted. That's the spell. Holy damage, please. Oh, Holy yeah. light. Yep. Oh, so fire. hopefully this will hit. Oh, if it has the unholy trait, it deals double damage. Sweet. Oh my. Well, it, was, it took damage from good damage, or from holy damage, whatever we call it. Yeah. yeah, so it's 5d6 fire, and if it has the unholy trait, you deal an extra 5d6 spirit damage. Yeah. Oh, crit. Oh, oh crit. Yeah. Critical hit. Hello. Nice. Get cleansed, says Hull. I mean, technically, I think you had Snow Maple targeted from when you healed her, but a nat 20 is a nat 20, so. Yeah, true. Uh, the roll damage. Just don't put the damage on so yeah. probably won't That's how we find out a snow maple has the unholy trait. Oh, jeez. It said private, so I don't know why. I don't know why it said private either. Um, but... You have push to talk. Yep. Um, if control is your push to talk, control is also what makes it a blind roll. Oh, that's probably exactly what happened. Yeah, that, that's what happened with me for those early sessions. Uh, so yeah, so that beam of light like sears into this uh, into this plant, and there's like this acrid smell and this blinding light, as like huge chunks of it burn away, uh, because it did have the unholy trait. Uh, yeah. Ninety damage, I bet. Nope. Yeah. So yeah, uh, fourteen d six, and then doubled for the crit. Uh, wow. Avatar is with you today. He sure is. Uh, anything else from Hull? I know that was three. Okay. Well uh, spent. 
that will take us to the bloom uh who does not regenerate because of the he uh, the holy damage oh oh nice the holy crater in it uh, there's uh, definitely uh, a crater left from that from that yeah. spell yeah uh so it is going to spew a seed pod that doesn't sound good doesn't know uh 20 foot burst oh prof is okay oh uh, maybe uh, nope, it is going to catch Grouch, Father, Liam, Flower, and the Professor. All of whom need to make reflex saves. Reflex? Oh, no. Whoa. I'll hear a point. Oh, double 20s. Wow. I'll take oh. our good roll. Uh, so it is a DC 29. Oh. oh, no. So Flower failed. Uh, Gratch failed. Professor critically failed. Uh, so for Gratch and Flower. It's going to be 20 acid damage. Yeesh. Apparently, poison acid damage. How does that work? Uh, and 21 poison damage. Oh, okay. Oh, that's how it works. Oh, I guess Jesus. that's how it works. Yeah, it's that, uh, that flesh melting poison. <laughs> uh, and the critical failure on the professor. Yeah. It's going to be 10d6 acid. Yeah. Oh, my Jesus. So 30 acid. I'll stop 10. Okay, 20 acid. Does that stop acid? This stops the acid and poison? Yep. Not of each? And, yeah, be uh, And uh, 42 poison becomes 32 poison. Oh, my lord. Oh, uh, I don't know what happened, but everything went away. Uh, your token Oops. got deleted. Everything went uh, dark. Whoops. It sure felt like my token got deleted. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> Uh, so 10 off of both of those is 52 damage? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, and the professor is also knocked prone because of the force of the explosion. Cool. Uh, and I'm going to need the professor and flower to both give me fortitude saves. Okay. Oh my god, another two. <laughs> oh. Uh, we just lost tracks. Oh. Hopefully you can make it back. Yeah. Right. And uh, fortitude safe from flower as well. Inconceivable. What? Oh my god. Uh, so it's a critical failure for the professor and just a regular nice. flower for for flower. Right. Uh, so yeah, so both of you start uh, coughing and stuff from the poison and the acid. Mm. It still has one action left. Uh, it will thorn whip the uh, father. Oh, that desperately wanted to be a critical, but only a 22. Uh, that is its turn. Was I supposed to take damage from that seed thing? Uh, no, you succeeded. 
I, did. I think it was a crit success, right? Yeah, you crit succeeded, so you're good. Okay. All right. Yeah, crit succeed on a basic save means no damage. Uh, that is its turn. That will take us to Flower. Was there poison along with the Enfeebled from the... Or was there damage along with the Enfeebled from the poison? Uh, no. Oh, okay, sweet. Okay. Flower is Go going back. to swing on a flower. You uh, missed some acid and poison, and then acid and poison and poison. We're gonna crit it. Oh, Where there you go. go. That should take it out, I would think, right? I hope so. Alright, so there you go. Flower, how would you like to do this? Again. Um, Again. So, yeah, you know, yeah. So, you know how when I crit things, I can send them flying 10 feet? Yeah. Straight up from the roots. All right. Uh, so, yeah, so this uh, the, this plant thing just, like, explodes in, in plant and acid and poison everywhere. You know, the plants around you melt. Uh, everybody kind of ducks behind the cover. Uh, as this uh, acidic blood sprays everywhere, it doesn't hit anybody because it doesn't have a final attack. Or flavor flower bathes in it. The arms are stretched in the rain. Okay. Uh, but it is now quiet. <laughs> I mean, the thing is awash in blood everywhere. Yeah. And plant acres. Right. And Acor, yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, as the uh, as this uh, Bluma Lamash 2 is destroyed, um, you can see the, the vibrancy on the nearby plants starts to starts to fade. Uh, some of the more outlandish plants start to uh, to dissipate into nothingness. Oh good. Yeah, and I think it's time to Go out for a breath of fresh air. Does the um, does that sort of unnatural floral scent start to lessen? I mean, that will take some time as the place airs out. Okay. But yeah, uh, tracks into your kind of like keen nature senses. Everything is basically the the corruption is dealt with. Now it's just a matter for the natural order to assert itself. Gotcha. And you did say the roof here was 50 feet high. Is there any of those apertures on the ceiling in here now? or? Uh, as you look through some of the... the, the where the, the vegetation is starting to wither and die, some of the more lander stuff, there are like small air holes that are starting to open up. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I mean those those like eyes that were opening up into the abyss? Uh, no, uh, actually you see one of those basically zipper shut. Okay. Was there one on the roof the entire time we were sort of in here? Uh, here and there, kind of fading yeah. in and out. Always sort of one, but not in the same. Gotcha. Yep. How are flower and prop? Like, is there any persistent damage going on? Or? Uh, no, there is no persistent damage going on. Um, oh, okay. That's good, because there was enough upfront damage that I think it would have been bad. Okay. I mean, the professor feels a little, uh, a little weak, has a little bit of a cough. I'm like very heavily leaning on my my cane and just uncontrollably shaking as I make for the exit. Yeah. Uh, Snow Maple will linger just a little longer and see if there's anything to salvage here. Mm. Uh, I'll and... get cough over while take... Snow's doing that, just to make sure that he's not. Didn't catch something. There's a lot of catching stuff going on around. This yeah, thing. strangely, I didn't. Uh, I didn't catch any backlash this time. Um. Yes, Father Liam, you can give me a. Uh, you can give me an occult roll. Occult. Not medicine. Not religion. Cult. Neither. Neither of those. Good. Actually, I'd say religion would probably cover it, too. Okay. 
Oh, I hear about that. Sounds important. Could be. I hope. Bad mm. stuff. They're, they're, they're fine. Okay. Um, but yeah, Snow Maple, as you take a look around, there is there is nothing in here of any value. All right. Uh, you know, uh, it's worth a it's always worth a look. Yep. Let's take a minute to patch up before we go too far. Eh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Head back, and we can start packing up the the yurt. Yep, packing up the yurt is literally just shoop, pulling uh pulling the string. Excellent. At the end of that, Gratch had two hit points. Uh, I had two hit points uh, after I took that big hit there. Yep. Uh, and 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 the the bleeding damage was coming online. It was like ah. Eh. Yeah, the battle medicine, the battle medicine, or the the healing gloves saved you. Otherwise, the bleed yeah. would have dropped you. All right. Um, so yeah, as you guys make your way through, you can see here and there the uh, the vegetation is starting to to shrivel up and and die. Uh, the more natural vegetation is no longer being choked out by the unnatural vegetation. Oh yeah, we should go and dig up our uh, gnome friend as well. Leave him. Uh those um, machine gun plants are all wilting too up here, eh? Yes, they are. Okay, perfect. Uh, he was behind the wall, I think, way over yon. Uh, yes, so like the other... The, you guys can backtrack to him easy enough. Yeah, it'd be easier if you just move us over there, Chris, if you can. Yep, I just gotta gather all the tokens together. I'm already oh, moving. Sorry. I'm halfway there. Whoa. Living on the earth? I haven't stopped. Oh, damn it. Dead end. Jackson's like, follow me, guys. I'm covered. I'm covered. All right. I'll stop. I'm currently stuck somewhere. I don't. Not working for me. We got you. Hey, we made it. Right. We're here. Uh, so yeah, again, you come to the wall, and the the ghost is like, "How's it? Oh, mm. huh? You all lived. You all still have arms." Yes. And he holds up, like, you know, gives you the thumbs up with his one good arm. <laughs> Both those things are true. All right. I forgot. going to lay on hands, uh, Prof. Just. Uh, so the, the gnome. Was it a gnome? Yeah. The, the yep. ghost materializes, though? He does. He's like, have you. Are you guys done? Like, I don't mean to rush you. I'm, I got all the time in the world. It's dead. Oh, good. And the thing that came out of it's dead as well. Some more healing for the prop. Oh, thank you both. That's excellent. Um, I knew there was something, something happening. Something was drawing uh, power from those uh, those abyssal rifts. Uh, unfortunately, uh, cultists found me before I could do anything about it. So that's the the lands owe you a debt. I'm sure the rulers will reward you greatly when they uh, when they find out. Oh, unfortunately, that's that's also us. They already know. Oh, well, reward yourselves. Treat yourselves. Yeah. Uh, if it's any consolation, uh, Darvin, uh, Darvain, uh, he's 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 done for as well. So you know. 
you, you've done a, a tremendous service, not just for the kingdom, but for for my my order as well. Uh, yeah, we can make sure that uh, your body gets back to your people, or you know, respectfully interred, whichever you prefer. Um, it, yeah, if you just take me into the into the wooded area and uh, let nature take its course. Oh, I know sure. Just, Traxon probably knows a good place. I know just the place. There you go. And he'll he'll kind of look at Traxon and he'll see like the little like the order of the leaf emblem that Traxon has. And he'll kind of smile and he he'll like he reaches out his good hand towards Traxon's face. Uh, and as oh. he kind of focuses, is Traxon doing anything? I was just about to say, I will allow him, if he's like moving to touch my face, like to touch me, I will allow that to happen. Right. Um, so yeah, as he does, his uh, his spirit glows brighter and brighter and brighter. There's like very like vibrant kind of blue-green color. Uh, I'll and try to watch for as long as I can. Yeah. Uh, and then as he touches, um, his, his spirit fades, uh, but... He imparts unto Traxton ritual knowledge of how to speak with natural spirits, call them to your aid, and how to um, heighten the spirit inherent in an animal. Uh, basically, he gives you the rituals for awaken animal, commune, and primal call. Oh, cool. Nice. Yeah. Uh, just as a note, though, if you awaken an animal on Gratch, he will no longer be a companion. Damn it, that was my first thought. Okay. That will never happen, then. Excellent. I was uh, awake an animal of commune, and what was the third one? Uh, primal call. Primal call. It works like summon planar ally, but for uh, animals, beasts, and uh, fake creatures. Oh. Fancy. Well, we better get this wall opened up. Agreed. Happily. Just adding the rituals right. onto character onto Traxton. Traxton. Perfect. Yeah, I'll get a um, a bundle of some hide or something ready. I imagine there's a, a skeleton to collect at the very least. Um, so yeah, so the air in here is, is cooler and drier than the rest of the caverns. There's no mold, there's no vegetation here, no condensation on the walls. Uh, but there is the skeletal remains of a one-armed gnome slumped up against one of the walls. Okay. I'll just go over to it and start laying it into the hide that I have ready. Okay. I've yeah, seen uh, seen a lot of shitty ways to kill someone, but uh, weakening them and walling in walling them into the wall, uh, pretty high up there. Agreed. Well, Master is not known for mercy. No. Uh, but yes, you can uh, you can pick up this uh, this tiny little gnome skeleton, or kind of wrap it up in the in the hides. Mm -hmm. Anything else in here? Uh, no, just him. Say a few words in druidic, very softly. Yeah, you know, give it the once over, then head out. Once once Traxon's done his. Uh... Preparations. 
it. Mm hmm. Uh, and you guys can make your way to the surface. Yes, please. Yep. That sounds wonderful. Sunlight and fresh air, please. Uh, so yes, you guys come up into the, uh, the bright morning. Uh, you know, there's a, you know, the, it, it's fairly early tracks and you can tell looking at the sun and everything. It's fairly early morning when you guys slept in the yurt and then you got up and then you did a thing. Um, you know, the grass is still like a little bit kind of crunchy from the, you know, the winter frost. Mm -hmm. uh, but you guys are back up on the surface and um, even in the time it takes you to basically uh, gather up Jin's body and go through you can see the um the 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 cradle uh lamashtu and the abyssal uh energies starting to starting to f fade already gotcha. um the professor I, I still don't see the party token oh there we go mm -hmm. uh for the professor mm -hmm. um as you kind of like are making your way just kind of like looking back um you know, you get this brief psychic flash of just like a a a, a beautiful, like beautiful smile just kind of disappearing, like the uh, like the Cheshire Cat um, in Alice in Wonderland. It is there like a face along with the smile? Uh, no, there is not. Oh, give me a perception check. Okay, sure. Um, there's no, there's no face. Um, basically, you can just see like it kind of fading out. You don't kind of catch it in time to get like facial features. Uh, the two things you notice are the like the the beautiful, beautiful smile. Uh, and the bright red hair fading from existence. I knew it. Uh, but with the 22, uh, the smile looked like a... It wasn't like a, I'll get you next time gadget smile. Um, it looked like... It looked like the sort of smile a proud parent would give their child. Okay. I'll uh, I'll keep that to myself, I suppose. Okay. Uh, but as you guys kind of make your way to the surface, uh, we'll uh, we'll take a little take a little bio break there, and I'll be back in like five ten minutes. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. As long as Prof doesn't start telling horrible stories, I think we're we're fine. So yeah, that's no, the, why that's the why professor I'm after stories it. are great. For some reason, I I don't see any of the terrain we explored on the way here. Just the one where we ended up. Oh um, yeah, weird. Yeah, that is weird. We'll see if it if it when you're moving back, we'll see if it uh, clears up for you. So I might have to like move the token, and then it'll probably unlock for you. It might have been where your where things were messy for you the last time we played. Maybe it didn't sync up. Yeah, I don't know. So, uh, but we'll uh, we'll take a look when we get back. Yeah, no worries. Oh yeah, because yeah, my my map does not look like Tony's uh, either.
Do we have everybody else back? Oh, I'm back. Okay. So, having uh, defeated the Bloom of Lavashtu, uh, and the fact that it is morning, uh, what would you guys like to do? We might as well make tracks. I think the only thing we were in the area for was this, wasn't it? Uh, yes, it was. So we could just head back home? Yes, I I think okay. we left our boat there. Yeah, your boat is uh, just to the uh, just to the the north of the uh, the goblins, which are here. We can always stop in on the goblins, but I don't know if we need to. They probably gonna be aren't gonna be excited. By the fact that we worked at Lam uh, Lamashtu's ambitions? Probably not. It might just strain relations. We do have a couple weeks before we have to do our government work, so we could hit those two hexes above us. Sure. For sure, yeah. On the way back to the boat, and then... I hit her home, right? And then get these two as well. I mean, we might as well. Yeah. We talking about what to do on our way back? Yeah. Yeah. What's the plan? Build a map. Explore. Yeah. Explore a few hexes. Sure. Find new places for farmland. Plus quarries, mines. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, and you guys did find uh, the area like right to your west. Mm -hmm. I think Don made note of it, but that is uh, that is an area where if you build a mine, it will generate luxuries. It's like a gem deposit. Right. Right. Hey, you've got a, you know, you've got all this area right along the mountains. Yeah, we might want to get a settlement down here. I mean, we still got Forgotten Keep, and we still got the Troll Fort Fortress. Those are both good settlement locations too, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah, all kinds of options for where you put things. All right, so you guys are gonna kind of like. Um, Traxton, uh, what are you, are you taking Jin's body with you or are you going to find a place here amongst these trees at the foot of the mountains? Um, my thought was actually in the, in the downtime to bury him at the, uh, shrine of Aristotle to the north of Leighton there. Oh, gotcha. Yep. That was the spot I was thinking. Perfect. I'm planting a fangberry bush on the spot that I put his bones into just as a bit of a final tribute sort of thing oh nice all right so you gather gather yourselves and start heading which direction are you going northwest seems to make the most sense to me anyway yeah we might as well if we're gonna do this we might as well explore all the river hexes is that does that not make sense? The northeast is another zone, so... It's true, but technically we're in another zone now. Like, we're not in our own zone, you know what I mean? No, but I think we're in the right level zone. Oh, here. we don't want to but... go up this way? Didn't oh, we see sure. a dragon or something over there? Well, um, saw... You've seen dragons and wyverns and stuff in various places. We've seen I mean, coming up along here too. I, I'm not against going northeast. We got time. 
I just uh, it, it, is there a big sign saying don't go here? Uh, no. If you wander into an area and uh, do some scouting, you will uh, find things that may indicate what level of zone it is. Yeah, I think we established that early that we kind of know that we're not going to walk into the no fly zone. You may walk into one, but you'll see things in plenty of time to walk back out. <laughs> right. We might as well check it out. I mean, if that's what you want to do, so. Yeah. I'm down. Yeah. yeah. Might as well. I, I mean, we're I, here. I think we should. Yeah, exactly. That's my thought, too. This is quite a trek away from the central hub sort of thing, so might as well. I just think exploring good. the entire, like, length of the river opens it up for possible development. You know? Yeah. Yeah. This side of the mountains. Yeah. Even okay. if it's just my RP wise, you know? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, and anything in the river could very easily make its way to town. It's true. We found some uh, interesting things in that area, too. Like, that lake was pretty interesting and stuff, so. All right. We'll rest and refocus, and then uh, head northeast, I guess. Yeah, yeah. All righty. And, um... Yeah, I'll do all my alchemy preparations. Okay. Um, but I'll do stuff like I'm probably going to give snow maple an antidote, an antidote every day. And I'm probably going to give Father Hall a Drake Heart Mutagen every day. Just so that they can have them on them. I carry the bag, so. Okay. Oh, okay. Perfect. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go through that. All right. Well, you've done your preparations for today when you were inside resting, so... Oh, gotcha. Sorry, I thought... Yeah, resting, refocusing. Couldn't we have moved yeah. to, the thir to the 14th rest? Uh... Yes. Sorry. No worries. Ooh, it is apparently a heavy downpour today. Excellent. So That's the, what I get for being honest. The clouds Thank above you. darken a significant amount of precipitation on loads over the region. Per visual precipitation checks take a minus one penalty. Visibility is reduced to a half mile or more. Anything more than 100 feet away is concealed. And cue cranky snow maple. Mm hmm. Yeah, especially because it's like it's a winter storm, so mm -hmm. it's like that sleety, crappy type stuff. Yeah. Cold and wet. Sticks to you on whatever side the wind is blowing on. Yeah. Mm. Unpleasant. Mm hmm. Except for me, I enjoy it. But we're entering the Tours of Lebanese? The Tours of Lebanese. Oh, no. We're filling this map a lot faster than the Forbidden. You are. It is also, it is a slightly smaller map, too. Honestly, the hex exploration is the thing I most enjoy about this campaign. I I really like a good hex exploration game sometimes. Yeah, I don't know. I'm digging it. All right. Uh, so yeah, so you uh, you make your way through the through the wet and the cold. Uh, it's not mm -hmm. snowing, thankfully, but it is that like borderline between rain and ice pellet uh, weather. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have your horses, so it is. Uh, fairly fairly slow going um the you know the ups and downs of the hills that are like the foothills and you can see the tours themselves which is this large mountain range that basically runs all the way from the selen hills pretty much all the way up to um to brevoy um off to the west it's like you guys are in the foothills of the mountains here um and uh i will get a I'm assuming that you're reconnoitering as you go. Yes, please. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I will get everybody to give me a perception roll. I've been playing you know, too much Baldur's Gate. I keep pressing I to bring up my character sheet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can actually like change around hotkeys if it makes it easier. Oh, that should do it. 
I never realized there was a character sheet hotkey until now. You're welcome. Oh yeah. Th that changed everything. Thank you. Oh, and hitting it again closes it. What a good hotkey! It, it does. Yeah. All right. Give me one sec here. Uh, the tours. Just going to see what the standard DC for the tours is. You would see the signs yeah, that you're not supposed to be there. are turning right around. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But the rain is so great, you can't see the thing. Shh, we're just checking difficulty right now. If we can't see it, it can't see us. Right. Yeah. That's true, too. Uh, so, uh, as you guys make your way, and you, you know, it's slow going, but you're taking your time kind of looking to see if there's anything here that might be of use to the kingdom. Um, and around like early, early evening in the rain, um, the professor, uh, and snow maple, uh, you notice, um, the ground that you're going through, uh, that you're walking through, especially along the riverbanks, uh, there's like a, like a reddish color to the, the soil. Uh, it's not, it's not clay, uh, but there's a definite reddish coloration to the, uh, to some of the stones. Uh, and if either of you would like, you can give me a nature check. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to. Sure. Um, I'll cast Pocket Library, too. I'll summon a geography or, um, sorry, a geology textbook. Okay. Uh, and give it a glance over. Twenty-eight for snow. All right. Is this um? Is this recall knowledge? Ah, uh, yes, it is. Then I would like to use esoteric lore at minus two, please. Okay. Red mud, I hear that's great for potatoes. A okay. uh, couple of things, really. Right. Uh, snow maple. At first you're like, oh, okay, maybe it's clay, maybe it's like really rich farming soil. But then you get down and you kind of like get a sample of it. Um, and it's runoff that indicates that in the, in the vicinity, probably in a cave or someplace, uh, there's probably an incredibly rich iron, uh, iron vein. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, iron oxide. Yeah, exactly. All right. That's two mines in the I imagine area. that's very distinctive, so uh, we can probably follow that back to its source. Uh, yes, you can. Uh, and uh, you follow it, follow it kind of back to its source, kind of up in uh, like a little bit closer to the mountains, kind of like on the, the north side of the river. Kind of like, right. You see how it looks like there's like a little valley between the two smaller mountains. Mm. So on the uh, on the western side of that valley, you do see um, the the cave, uh, and even at this distance with your spyglass, um, you can see uh, the like the the unworked iron ore. Um, it's so plentiful that it's like visible to the naked eye, sort of thing. Gotcha. Uh, and then, what did you roll? You rolled like a 30-something, didn't you? 36. 36. You know, yeah. not bad. Okay. I don't think it's enough for a critical hit on this, but maybe. Okay. Um, so the other thing that you notice is nearby, um, kind of like on this uh, this gigantic tree, is an enormous bird nest. Oh. So is the oh. tree itself gigantic as well? The tree is gigantic enough to hold the. Uh, and there's a gigantic bird nest. In the and gigantic there's a tree. and there's a giant bird nest. 
It's time to rock around the clock. Uh, I I guess it's probably a good thing we don't have horses today. Mm. Uh, but I'll try uh, I'll try uh, recall knowledge. Uh, absolutely, uh, arcana or nature. I have both of those, yeah. but only a trained. Um, you're not sure. Uh, you get a good enough view of the nest to realize that whatever bird made it um, is bigger than any bird you've ever seen. Uh, huge? Or just large? Gargantuan. Oh. oh. Huge can fuck off. All right. Hello. May or may not be whale carcasses on the ground, room. May or may not be. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, everybody uh, stay low and try not to look enticing. Mm. It's true. Prof, do you know anything about a bird that gets that big? Uh, let me find out. Uh, yeah, I'll do a uh, recall knowledge. All right. I want a feather, though. You get a feather off that thing, you might be able to use it for a boat. Right? right. A spear or something. Um, so yeah, Professor, you're like thinking about it, and as you're as you're thinking about it, you know, there's like this crack of thunder, uh, and a, you know, lightning strikes in the distance, and that's what calls to mind that uh, it's conceivable that is the nest of a thunderbird. That's from thunderbird. Mind. Oh man, yeah. wolf would be so happy. Yeah. Do I know? A prox like is a thunderbird drastically outside of our capabilities. Uh, a thunder, you could probably handle a thunderbird, but it's not going to be easy. <laughs> Let's uh, make it mad at us. Thund thund thunderbirds bring storms on their wings. In times of drought, they are welcomed. Other times, they are offered gifts in hopes they leave before flooding begins. When angered, they call down hurricanes and lay waste to entire villages. So many settlements conduct extensive rites to appease and honor them. Uh, Thunderbird's car parents carry their newly hatched offspring to hidden mountaintop nests where the young are struck by their first bolts of lightning and learn the mysteries of the storm. Uh, but with your 29, what would you like to know about Thunderbirds in particular? I mean, that's a pretty cool bit of lore, right? That sounds dramatic. Um... I'm not saying Thunderbirds are great parents, but you know, are they reasonable? Yeah, are they are they intelligent? Are they to be reasoned with, or are they like beasts? Uh, they are they are beasts, but they are highly intelligent, and in fact, speak both common and Sasaurin. Ooh, what is Sasaurin? Uh, it is the um, like elemental air language. Oh, oh, interesting. Do no, I guess that's probably the recall knowledge. You succeeded, so you can roll again, but the DC goes up. Yeah, I'll roll again. I'm curious if they have like a general disposition. Like, are they eat on sight, or do they like show up and go, Hey, how's it going? Please stay away from my home. Sounds like you can come to some sort of agreement if villages have extensive rituals to appease them. That's oh, true. Yeah, that sounds fun. Right? It sounds expensive. Walk out a cow or a couple of cows every, you know, quarter or something. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, you can make a. Oh, boy. Uh, even with the increased difficulty, 30 is enough. Um, 
they can be reasoned with. They are often treated as gods by villagers mm -hmm. because they are capable of laying waste to a village yeah. with that their uh, with their ability to call down thunder and lightning. Yeah, understood. So if we see one, everybody be on your best behavior. Flower, agreed. And um, we'll probably be fine. Apologize profusely for whatever offense we may have. It imagines we uh, made to it. Uh, pretty well, exactly, yeah. 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 There's two mines in this area. So That's we true. have to make friends with this thing at some point. It would probably be a good idea. It could possibly keep an eye on this area for us. Yeah, I bet that kind of thing makes a great guardian. Mm, that's my thought, too. If it's happy, right? Cool. Well, I mean, if we got an iron mine right here, we got plenty of reasons to, you know, yep. keep it appeased. And a gem mine, just what, like three squares away or three hexes away? Depends on what it wants, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, Actually, and, yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, Traxon, I mean, a bird that size, its territory, like what it claims as hunting grounds, would be relatively large. Oh, big time, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so, you know, it probably does flyovers of the gem mine and, you know, the iron mine, obviously, and the other things. Mm -hmm. Probably one of those birds that's like, you know, how the, the modern birds are picking apart the, the, the anti-bird strips to, like, get the tangled bits of metal to make its nest. Yeah. Yep. I feel like it hunts dinosaurs in the lake for food. I imagine that kind of thing makes great uh, lighting rods. True. Well, let's not piss off the bird. No. No, don't piss off the burb. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and as you guys are like continuing to scout the area, kind of keeping an eye on the skies now at this point, um, you do... Uh, at one point as you're starting to get to the point where you're looking for a place to camp uh, catch a sight of it flying overhead um, and it's got to have like a 60 foot wingspan oh. Oh. Uh, and as it flies above you you can see like the basically um, electrical impulses kind of like playing over its body as it flies Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. I agree. Yeah, we do have some very good diplomats. It's true. Now that—that's how you travel by Thunderbird. Yeah, and that was that was uh, eight twenty-five, Chris. Uh that is one sec here. Uh, yes, 825. Okay, cool. You guys have not yet gone to, uh, to, was it 826? I accidentally unmarked that one, but... I just wanted to make sure. Yep, but yeah, 825. Right. Uh, but this is a new zone, so we will do, uh, some camping-type activities. Sure. Oh. Okie dokie. Uh, what is it, survival to find the site? Uh, yes, it is survival to find the site. Okay. It's been a hot second since we've camped. Do -do -do. One sec here. Hoping the DC is not 30. I'm thinking it may not be because of the information checks, but, it, you know. Uh, it's not 30, but it's also not 20. Excellent. Oh. Hmm. I feel like because Thunderbird is in the area, I'm going to reroll that just because. Okay. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Should have stayed. Alrighty. 
Traxman says, why don't we just camp in the river? Yeah. Right here uh, in the middle of the path. Uh, so, yeah. So, uh, yeah, the best you can find is a place to kind of hole up, even with the yurt. But it's uh, basically it's not good. So you can't do any of the other um, campsite activities. You can't hide. You can't organize the watch. You can't cook. Like, you can't do any of the other activities. Uh, and there's an immediate flat check against the zones and counter DC. Oof. Sweet. Oh, look at that. We can't. It's private. I know. True. Uh, let's look here. Just clear out some of these scenes I don't need anymore. Uh, so, while you're in the process of setting up camp... And... Try to find my creatures. One sec here. Um, so yeah, as you guys are kind of setting up camp and going like, oh god damn, that's, that's a sleety rain will never stop. Like, it's everything you can do to get a fire going. Uh, you know, the, the yurt has a fireplace and stuff inside, so you're good there. Um, but you hear this screeching, roaring sound. Uh, and the sound of two large, um, bodies landing on the ground, uh, just outside your firelight. Uh, and everybody should probably roll some initiative. The monsters have a terrible choice to make. I mean, one of them is grateful and one of them is resentful, so there's that. Now that Moot Pie isn't here, who will they try to eat first? That's right. I mean, at least the encounter happened while you were setting up camp, so nobody's asleep. Oh, does that mean we still have our armor on? Yes, it does. Awesome. As far as who they're going to eat first, my vote is they're going to eat me first. Right. Um, I hope you're right, buddy. Uh, so I need uh, initiative from Snow Maple and Flower. I know you are. Oh, sorry. Oof. I hit, I hit the wrong perception. Yep. No worries. Turned out, turned out much better this time. Uh, Snow Maple, you are up first. You have heard the sound of two things dropping out of the air and landing outside your torch, uh, your, your campfire light, uh, kind of to the south. 
All right, uh, double action. Get some more light on the scene. Oh, oh boy. boy, that helped. That's all the light. Everybody's like, oh, it's my eyes, my eyes. Yep. Uh, so yes, there seems to be a mated pair of Chimera. Hmm. Uh, battle assessment? Sure. That'll round out the actions nicely. We can see them, right? Uh, oh yes, they're not hidden. They, like, drop down on the ground, so maybe behind them on, like, light! These are standard variety, right? Uh, they do appear to be dragon, lion, and goat. Okay. The standard composition for an unstandard thing. Mm -hmm. Oh. So, Snow Maple. Uh, Chimera. Uh, chimeras do not have any particular weaknesses nor resistances. They do breathe fire. Uh, and they are... Uh, they are fairly hardy. Uh, Fortitude is their highest save. Okay, good to know. Uh, they're tough and they breathe fire. Uh, that'll take us to Professor Yorin. Oh, um, is the prop supposed to still be in people? Yes, he is. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. That's unfortunate. I'm going to delay for now. Okay. Since it seems like Flower's right after me. All right, uh, Flower. Oh, he said uh, BRB, one rage, yeah. two attack. Yeah. Looks uh, like he's close enough to sudden charge either of them. Uh, yeah, because his speed is 35 when he's raging. Ooh. Might as well give the resentful one something to be resentful about. And the grateful one something to be grateful about. Yeah. Dibs on the grateful one. Uh, so yeah, flower was, but he does miss. Uh, oh. Thus taking us to Father Liam. Huh. I guess I'm just gonna strike. I'll try twice. And ratio. Alright. Uh, taking us to the professor. Uh, yeah. I will exploit vulnerability on the grateful one. Okay. Um, okay, so a failure, so just the personal antithesis, that's fine. Uh, I will use my second action to shoot it. Okay. Ooh, 31 is definitely hit on the Chimera. Sweet. You have its attention. And perfect. Uh, and my last action will be to stride. Hey there. Okay. And that'll be me. Uh, that'll take us to Traxton. Okie dokie. Hmm. Well, it's. Uh, get some hunted prey on the Grateful Chimera. 
I will move to this location. Okay. And we're gonna get some... Actually, Gratch will move to there, and, and I will uh, try and stab it. I will assume since Struxon has the movement, I'll assume he kind of came in from the side so that it didn't snap at him. 20 is a miss. Yeah. Oh, that'll hit. Excellent. And a D sixer. <laughs> okay. It is the Grateful Chimera's turn. So it is going to uh, it is going to try to bite you with its dragon jaws. Uh, miss. Whoa. Okay. But then it is going to uh, send a thirty foot cone of fire. Uh, so I'm going to need uh, Traxon and Snow Maple to both make reflex saves. Damn it. Uh, I was hoping it was going to hit his friend if it did that to me on this side, but no. Nope. Okay. Uh, so, critical success for both of you because of evasion. Yay! Yay! Team Evasion! So you snow maple and Trax and see it like rearing its dragony head back and you're both like, oh shit! Yeah. We're like, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> the resentful Chimera. Uh, is going to try to... Uh, it's going to try to ram uh, Liam with its goat horns. Uh, that'll hit. Uh, shield block. Okay. Takes 11 off that. Takes 11 off. Yep. I did the damage. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, and then it is also going to breathe fire. Rude. Reflex. Uh, reflex save for you and for Flower, I believe. I always got to add my uh, race symbol. All right. Uh, uh, so that is a that is a success for Liam and a fail for Flower. Uh, so nineteen damage to Flower and uh, nine uh, nine damage to Hull. Got it. Not too bad. Uh, take us back around to Snow Maple. Oh, 
Okay. Thirty five forty. Just so Traxon and I are on opposite sides, mostly. Okay. And uh, get in there and try and steal it. Uh. Try one more time. Okay. What the follow up hits? Eighteen damages. Alrighty. Uh, that will take us to flower. I don't know if he's back yet. No, it seems like he might still be gone. Well, we'll do this in the proper order. We'll swing first and then we'll do Dread Marshal. Correct. That's right. Or at least a higher probability for success. Missed by one. Mm, he'd probably hero point that. Oh, and get the way out. <laughs> Apparently meant to happen. That's how it goes. Oh, and failed the oh. Dread Marshal as well. That's how his day's been going. It is how his day's been going. Uh, 31 becomes a 32 because of the backswing. At least he gets some damage on it. Alright, that'll take us to Father Hall. Alright, I'm gonna try to trip this thing. Okay. Uh, that 26 is a success. Okay. Nice. And... I guess it's sitting down now. It is prone. I didn't expect that to work. Same. I'm gonna draw my sword. Well, it's, it's not gargantuan, at least. Nope. And I'm gonna hit it. All right. Which would be my second, right? Uh, yes. Here, we'll point that. Okay. Yeah, I stole this. All right. That's me. All right, taking us to the professor. Uh, yeah. I'm going to, I think, stride twice. Uh, and sort of duck into this tent, uh, just like out the back flap, so that I'm within 15 feet of both Traxton and Snow Maple. Okay. Um, and then my last action will just be to reload. Okay. Just getting, uh, in, that'll be... getting into position to uh, defend some damage. Exactly. Perfect. Getting into amulet range. All right. Uh, take us to Traxton. Okie dokie. 
Um, I haven't used it yet, but you can do a, f a five foot step for free on a turn. Is that right? Uh, it's not for free, but it doesn't provoke attacks of opportunity. Okay, so a step is one action then. Yep. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Uh... Note though that because uh, if you're looking for the flank, because Snow Maple is there, you uh, flank with it as long as she is there. Because of her gang up feet. Oh, okay. Gotcha. As long as she's anywhere, in, as long as we're all engaged with it in the yep. basically. Yep. Join the gang. Gotcha. Perfect. Uh, I had a different plan in mind, but it's all good. Um, so I'm going to get some support. I'll get my boy move into there. Okay. Again, I assume he kind of runs around and comes from the side. Right. Because he has more than enough move. Yep. Dodges in between the snapping heads. Yeah. And like literally he was rotating in the for the last round too, so yeah. Um let's go from some attackage. Uh, okay. Three swings, hopefully. Ooh boy. Ooh. Love that. Critical hit. Okay. And I'll get two D eight the momentarily. Critical damage is gonna be this. Two Oof. of these. Let's get the offhand. Sunk that one, too. Nice. D six D eight coming. Okay. And the last attack, because I didn't move. I'm going to try and hero point that. Okay. Hey, there we go. That is a hit. And a d8. I think it's the first time ever I've hit with all my attacks in a round. Or three, anyway. Yep. Uh, and Snow Maple, you've got your reactive backstab if you'd like. Oh, there we go. Oh, money. Money. Oh, that was a good one. Oof. Team evasion for the win, baby. There yeah, we assassinated it. All right. <laughs> there you go. Snow Maple, how would you like to do this? Uh, I, I imagine that uh, tracks and swings high. So Snow Maple goes in low and uh, cuts his go. back legs out, between, out beneath it. Kind of cuts the legs out and then I imagine like stick the stick the rapier or the the short sword in like it's where it's getting ready to breathe again. Yeah. And kind of puncture that. For sure. Yep. Gretch starts tearing heads off once you kill him. Yeah. Yeah. Gretch is going to town. He's like, hmm, I haven't had Chimera in days now. <laughs> That's true. This one's probably a lot more appetizing. Yeah. Yeah. St standard flavor. Yeah. He did not eat the mutated one. No. no. It's a, we wouldn't let him. He's like. He's oh, like. Yeah. <laughs> Even Grouch turned his nose up at that. No. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody Bite. wants a piece of that action. Bite and spit. That's all he does. I mean, vulture, snake, and centipede. Mm -mm. All right. Uh, it is None going to. Ooh, it's going to try to uh, bite Liam with its jaws. Oh, it's still prone. So an action to get up. Then it's going to bite. Ouch. Ooh, critical hit on Liam. Yeah, no shield up this time. Uh, 48 damage. Jeez. The resentful is very resentful. Yes, for some reason, he keeps biting himself. I mean, we'll allow it. I don't hate it. The same problem I have always was applying healing to myself. Yeah, I think they changed some underlying structure because, like my uh, my uh, damage select thing doesn't seem to be functional right now. So I might have to look into that. I grab the damage. Oh, no. 
Okay, perfect. And actually, since that worked so well, it is going to try to attack you with its goat horns. That's bad. And also hit. Hit by zero. Oh. Well, shield would have blocked it. Man. That's oh, bad. wait, I have a thing. I have a thing. Oh, wait a minute. You have a thing? Oh, yeah, you have your uh, you have your shield raise. Reactive we'll... shield raise? Yeah. I think it's literally called reactive shield, isn't it? Reactive yep. shield. Perfect. So you bring the shield uh, up and stop it. It does, yeah. Awesome. Perfect. Today is reaction day. 12 damage is 12. Yeah. I mean, we're, we just hit level 8. Yep. Yep. We all bought reactions at the store. Yep. Uh, take us to Snow Maple. Right. Uh, snow is going to... Mm, move, move, I guess. Might as well go all the way around. Uh, circle around Flower and the Father. and Yeah. And uh, I will use my third action uh, to do some battle medicine on Father. All right. You might want to do that further away. Yeah, because it does have the manipulate trait, which will trigger All it right. up. So just to there. Okay. Oh, interestingly, it seems like you could have raised the shield to turn the crit into a normal hit, too. Yeah, but I didn't know if that would have changed the outcome, right? Oh, yes. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. There we go. 23 points of healing for Father Hall. Keep him on this side of the dirt. Thank you. Yeah, you hit by 11, so it would have turned it to a regular hit. Yeah. yeah. All right, so move, move, battle medicine. That'll take us to flower. Giant stature, swing, dread marshal. Got it. I hope everything's okay with Zach. Oof. Solid. I mean, they're doing great. We still killed ours first. It's true. Uh, failed by one. No. Okay, that'll oh. take us to Father Liam. That's rough. We're the cool kids. Uh, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Sure, strike. Okay. And then I'll stab him. We do have the animal mascot. That makes us at least 30% cool. It's true. We've got two, really. Don't forget Baby Beaky. Yeah. All right, hold damage. <laughs> I was really tempted to switch to Beastmaster, but uh, at the end of the day, I just thought it'd be too many extra things on the board. Cause... But real talk, though, does anybody want him as a companion? Because I am going Beastmaster, and I will take him as a companion. Or you could awaken him and set him free. No, he must stay with us. We must keep him safe for all eternity. Or we, we could awaken him. We could awaken him and appoint him to government. <laughs> you could do that too. It's true. The he'd be inspired some of us. Minister of Nature. If I make a critical success on the awaken, he'd be smarter than most of us. <laughs> say, we, say we ennoble him. Uh, that'll take us to the professor. Mr. Beaconton instead of Mr. Barrington. <laughs> um, Sir Beakers. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to just kind of mosey on into Flower's Aura. Um, and I reloaded last turn, so I'm going to shoot the Chimera. All right. 
And I've still got the um, exploit vulnerabilities from the other Chimera going, so that should be fine. Yep. Oh, critical mess. Um, no, that's fine. That doesn't need a hero point. It's just a little guy. Um, at least my last action to do the Ring of the Ram. Okay. So that's a fortitude save. Okay. It will, it will take a critical success. Yeah, that's fine. That's me. Alrighty. Uh, that'll take us to Traxton. Okay. I imagine I, I shoot out a very small ram head from the ring with only a single action, and it, it yeah. just collides with its ram head. Yeah. They, like, headbutt. A baby ram head. Oh, that's 45. I wanted to do 40. Uh, and... I will assign some hunted prey status. Okay. Uh, move on in there and try and cut him open. Gretch just uses his free action move. Okay. Uh, Gretch is like, I'm coming, I'm still eating. Yeah. Take the long way around. All right. I'm fine with that. Not that I have a point anyway. Uh, and offhand. Nope. Used all my luck last round. Yep. Resentful Chimera is so resentful. Yep. Too resentful. Some might say. Even more resentful now. Uh, it is going to back up a little bit. I believe Traxon and Flower can both take attacks of opportunity on it. Correct. Oh, yeah, we can. Ah, you're back. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, here's the thought. Not that I'm yeah. going to do it right now, but I'm just curious. Can I try and grapple as a action if I had a free hand? Uh, no. Okay. Has to be an attack. Has to be an attack. Oof. Okay. Oof. Forget about it. <laughs> I'm rolling it still. Do oh, oh, yes. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah. there it is. I'll go low, you go high this time. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know it. <laughs> God. 70. That's your best oh. yet, I think. I think I had one that was like 78 at one point. Was I think that oh was possible. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, so, yeah, so there's this tremendous boom of thunder uh, as between Traxton and Flower, they do like almost double the hit points it had left. Almost 100, yeah. <laughs> it had 51 hit points. Excellent. Uh, so, uh, so tag team-wise, how do you guys want to do this? I think literally just the way you said, like, I, I go high, you you go low? Yeah, you, you like, ba bash it down into the sword. Meanwhile, yeah. like, it's just, it's just a, like, a completely synchronous sort of motion, I think. Like the thing, what? flower like comes in from the top rope, like uh, like overhand, like slam down into the like slam it down into the sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It carries jumps, it through. Like, up. Yeah, it carries it through even more. Just that little bit more oh, momentum. Yeah. Though. He's already For big. The so. super slice. Yeah, exactly. I feel like it's just a baseball batting enemies around when he's that big with the mm -hmm. I beam. Anyway, right? Pretty much. Yeah. That's the way I always picture. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so as you guys are setting up camp, a couple of chimeras drop on you, indicating that perhaps this area might have some uh, some relatively dangerous wildlife. Yeah. This thunderbird isn't pulling away. Well. I mean, on the upside, if the thunderbird does come, now we have offerings. True. Yeah. Although I feel like it goes after larger targets being gargantuan, like the caloric sort of benefit. Yeah. But right. a large has to at least be a snack. True. True. Can't have just one. That's right. Good thing good thing Chimera come in made in pairs. <laughs> uh, yeah. Different flavors. It's true. The resentful one's extra spicy. 
Yeah. I feel like the other one had a milder flavor. Because we get to do nothing else, because yay survival check, we just yeah. get to sleep. Yep. Uh, the rain does eventually just dissipate down into a fog by morning. That's the main thing. Mm -hmm. As it's long true. as we're not drenched. Well, we know about yeah. drenched, but definitely all damp all the time. Yeah. Not soaking, but definitely damp. There's a fire in the yurt. I think we can probably dry out. Yeah, the yurt in, the yurt is dry and there is a fire. There's actually, I think there's like an actual hearth. Yeah, this Do I make another is... save for the poison while we rest? Uh, both you and Flower uh, can give me fortitude saves. Um, can I do some medicine to help that? You can do medicine. Do the medicine first, actually. In restoration, huh? Um, I have one prep. Okay. Just... Treat poison? Is that where we're at? Uh, medicine first. Like an assessment sort of thing. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Flower seems to be fine. Got a triage. Oh. DC is 29. Oh, okay. Uh... Uh, I do have one. Okay, cool. There we go. All right. Uh, Snow, so, um, yeah, you kind of look at him. I mean, Flower gets up and he kind of like vomits up some stuff. Um, you kind of check him over, check over the professor. Uh, it is neither a disease nor a poison. Oh, shit. Hmm. Uh, in that case, I don't know if I have anything for you. So we got... Um, I did take cursed Robert by a recovery. plant? You got cursed by the blue Malanash too. Yeah, that's just disease and poison. You're enfeebled, right? Uh, he is enfeebled currently. So restoration could work on him. Uh... It will not get rid of the enfeebled while he is cursed. Okay, let's remove curse. Uh, I believe it comes under cure affliction. Are we... So we're dealing with curse, and it's not a disease. Correct. Yeah, and... if it was disease or poison, I could help. But no. Yep. Yeah. And you guys have seen what the end result of this curse is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and... okay. Okay. Yeah. Depending on how herstute you are, you either explode or you just turn into a horrible thing. I'll fix you up on the morning. Give me a second to get ready. I'll be right back. Um, so the important thing with the with the cure affliction uh, is depending on what level you cast at is what the effect is. Yeah, it has to be level four for a curse, but things. We're looking at the spell there now. Is that divine? Uh, it is. It is uh, divine healing. Um, okay. So, yeah, so if you cast it at level two, uh, it will reduce the stage by one, but can only ever be applied once to a given case. Uh, but if you cast it at level four, then it will attempt to counteract the curse, which means if you roll well enough in your counteract, it will get rid of it entirely. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm going to do level four. I'm gonna, well, I'll have to prep it. But... Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so uh, in the morning, after one day, uh, the professor needs to give me a DC 29 fortitude save. It's fine, I'll just, I'll succeed. Please do. Uh, I did not 
Mm -hmm. I will hero point it, though. Okay. Here's a question. Okay. If I grab the professor and hold him real hard, will he not explode? <laughs> <laughs> One way to find it. Uh, so you do... <laughs> Basically, because you crit failed in the first place, you skipped stage one and went right to stage two, so now you are at stage three. Oh. Oh, God. Okay. So you are still in Fabled, in fabled one. Uh, and you take seven points of poison damage. Okay. Is he showing any flowers upon his person? Uh, so, yeah, when you guys get up in the morning, flower kind of, like, rolls over and heaves and, and coughs up, like, all this kind of mucusy stuff. Kind of, like, he seems to be okay. The professor, when he kind of coughs up, uh, his, uh, his cough up has these tiny, tiny, tiny little black seeds in it. Oh. Oh, no. Well, let's see what we can do about that. Abadar might be happy with you today. Is there any input that other characters can do to make this better? Like, can I smear some healing mud on him to make this... Uh, if, if it was a disease, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, unfortunately, it is a curse. Mm -hmm. I was wondering mechanically how I could, if help at all. Yep. Yeah, if it was like a disease or poison, absolutely. So if I did have something that could affect magical curses, I could. Is that is that what I'm hearing, or? Uh, you you could probably try on the counteract. Okay, I got you. Find the counteract rules. All right, so Father Hall has successfully prayed to Abadar. Uh, Abadar has uh, seen fit to uh, to grant you some healing capability. Yeah, yeah, prop pays his taxes on time, all the time. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, so you're going to make a counteract check after you cast the spell. Okay, yeah, I made it for 20, but I might hero point it. Uh, so, um, if you're counteracting an affliction, DC is the affliction stat block. If it's a spell, use the caster DC. Um, so your counter check modifier is your spellcasting attribute modifier plus your spellcasting proficiency bonus plus uh, bonuses and penalties. So basically whatever your spellcasting is is what you're going to roll for the counteract. Uh, so it is a DC of uh, 29. Okay, so I will hero point the 20. Am, am I able to use esoteric lore to aid? Uh, I will say yes. Okay, sweet. Ooh. Okay. That's a critical success. So that's plus three. Okay. And the eight's enough. There you go. Okay. So 28 plus three from the professor is a 29. So that is success. So it will counteract if the if the effect is rank five or less. Uh, the good news is that the rank is based off of the uh, basically the creature that caused the effects half of its level so um it was level 10. oh god oh thank god it is five <laughs> yeah but not less than five <laughs> excellent uh so yeah so uh with the, with the will of abadar and some help from the professor going like okay wait i've read about curses uh this uh and professor as you're like thinking about it you realize that what this curse does is it doesn't uh it doesn't turn you into a monster when you explode. It basically turns your portal into your body into a portal uh, that the creature comes through. Uh, but the body is not big enough to uh, to withstand that sort of capability. Oh, like you can feel gotcha. your, you can feel your organs kind of shifting and making space for the portal to form in your body, your tiny little gnomish body. It's a tumor. Oh, it's not a tumor. It's a, no, it's, it's a tumor. It's a portal. The portal tumor. <laughs> Oh my god. Does does he hack up a bunch of like seeds and stuff and Yep. Well, how does uh how does your uh uh cure of, uh affliction look there, priest of Abadar? Oh god. Oh, probably the the 
same as most of his effects, right? So golden light symbols of, you know, Avatar typically keys and scales would do, you know, like Doctor Strange does the little uh, rotating symbols. Yeah. His, yep. would be, his would Albany be keys money. and scales. Yeah. And then would just so blast him with the light until he stops yeah. throwing up suits. Uh, and yes, and it does. It's not so much that he vomits it up, but the the power, the power of Abadar basically pulls this material out of the professor's body. Mm -hmm. uh, like at first, it's just seeds, and then it's like actual kind of like plant matter. Uh, and it is uh, it is gross and nasty, and smells disgusting. But it does cleanse his body. You know what to do with that stuff, Jake. Sounds traumatic. It's a. Uh, it's not pleasant. Mm -hmm. Once, once I'm done recovering uh, and catch my breath, I'm gonna scoop up just a little bit of the whatever that was. Oh, don't, don't eat it! Don't eat uh, it. it. It needs to stay outside yeah. your body. <laughs> yeah, I just I want to study this more. And we should try to clean flower up too, eh? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, the flower doesn't seem to have exhibited any of the weakness that the professor did. No. He just flexes all the impurities out of his body all the time anyway. That's right. There's a difference between, like, something probably would have come out of uh, professor, flower probably would have turned feral. Oof. Critical success on the contract. Yep, flower is clear. Actually, your spell doesn't even pull anything out of them. <laughs> it's okay. I don't mind. It's worth it to know for sure. The spell is just like, nope, not this guy. Uh, yeah, incidentally, the uh, the third stage, uh, the professor would have had to make another roll in eight hours. Uh, failing that would give him fourth stage, uh, which is a ten minute uh, before our next roll. And if he fails that final roll, then he explodes into a monster. Oh, Ooh. lovely. And specifically, if it's a PC in the old, uh, when there's still alignments, it would be a chaotic evil monster of uh, his level plus three, I believe. Oof. Oh, jeez. And he's and he and you would be gone, gone then. Like there's no coming back from that, is there? Well, you would need something that doesn't require an intact body. Oh, okay. So like a standard. Okay, I gotcha. I thought it would be like you were erased or something. Uh, no, it just uh, basically opens a giant portal in your body. Violently. Gotcha. Uses user raw materials for uh, yeah. transportation. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but everybody feels much better now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to get that stab at you. Oh, yeah. Just just having that on hand would go a long way. Yeah. Yeah. I agree wholeheartedly. Well, do we want to see if we can uh, uh, knock out another hex today? Sure. All right. Which way would you like to go? Uh, might as well get the the one that you uh, you uh, revealed uh, in in error. Okay. Uh, eight, eight to twenty-six. We're gonna venture into the mountains. Okay. Probably as far as, as well, we want to go, but yeah. Might as well follow the river. Sure. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, so you guys move into the hex. I mean, at some point we might run into signs of civilization because the other. Uh, the Noman Heights uh, group is somewhere up here. Yeah, they're on the other side, aren't they? Uh, yes, they're on the other side of the tours. Okay. Have we done diplomatic stuff with those oh, things already? Uh, yeah. Yes. We're supposed to. We're supposed to come for dinner sometime. Well, I guess we're coming for dinner. Look who's coming for dinner. Hope the Thunderbird doesn't eat your tail.
be like if we could have a favorite dish, the Thunderbird has one, and we just got to find out what it is. Hopefully it's not people. That Draycard stuff's only good if you wear no armor, isn't it? Yep. Um, uh, I, it'll... it'll... Seem, seem... Go ahead. Oh, uh, I was going to say, it seems like it uses the better of the two. Um, I'll need to reread it again. But the big thing is that it'll let you stride twice as one action if you need to. That's oh, okay. Yeah. How long does it last for? Just a minute. Okay, so you gotta do or, it. Or right. until you do the two action stride. Gotcha. Doing the two action stride ends it. Oh, okay. Gotcha. The mutagen rush wears off. Alright. So, uh, deep in the Tor Levanese, this is where the uh, basic little river cascades over a cliffside in a deep mountain turn. Um. And you guys can give me perception checks. Ooh, apparently flower and track center on the ball today. For once, for Traxton, anyway. Yeah. Today. Same, same with Flower. That yeah. doesn't happen. No, that was a really good roll. Uh, so you do see uh, through the through the mists on the on the river here. Um, there's like a, a little island in the river, like a very small island in the middle of the river, kind of like the um, like little cow islands that we have in the St. John River here. Mm -hmm. um, and on one of them, there is a 100 foot tall naturally formed stack that Flower identifies as limestone. Rising the yeah. center of a, of a small, uh, small island. Oh, that limestone? What the? Does it look natural? It does look natural. Mm. That shouldn't be like that, because, like, well, Tom knows certain things. Hmm. Sorry, it's a limestone what? Uh, like a like a hundred foot tall kind of limestone spire. Spire. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. Just a, like a massive deposit. But open to the air, which is interesting. Very Invisible. interesting. Visible. Open and air no, limestone. And no movement around it at all. It doesn't seem to be like a, a hive or something or anything like that. Uh, no, it does not seem to be. Okay. Interesting uh, terrain feature, anyway. Disseminate that information. Do we feel like it would be of? Um, harvestable grade okay well, you couldn't probably tell from a distance eh? you wouldn't be able to tell from here and like if you could it wouldn't be uh it wouldn't be a large amount hmm. it's not like it's a, a like it's not suitable for quarrying for example oh okay do we want to check it out see what it is all about get up close and personal sure i mean we're here might as well What's the river like? Is it, you know, you mentioned a, 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 a cow island. Is it easily fordable here or is it pretty? Uh, it, you can find a space to ford it. Okay. Yeah, let's see we get, see what is, does anything stand out about the situation once we get up close and personal. I wonder if it's a, like a marker or a totem or a statue or something, maybe. Uh, 
One sec here. Petrified Thunderbird droppings. Oh, oh well. It's a hell of a stack. Right? Alright. One sec here. Uh, so yeah, so there is a, like a jagged limestone cliff, a uh, muddy waterfall that kind of rushes over the side. Um, at various points you can see the island. There is um, it does look fordable uh, and uh, you can see that there are some tracks along the uh, along the riverbank. Oh. Uh, survival check to try and identify these tracks? Uh, yes. Okay. Oh, that's a big map. Uh, I'll roll to see if I can help. So, plus one for tracks. Okay. Oh boy. Right. Uh, so, uh, some of these appear to be like a couple weeks old, at least three different creatures. Um, some of them are human. Some of them appear to be like large skeletal footprints. Uh, and some that are only a couple days old appear to be an unshod horse. Oh. And are they are they milling back and forth along the bank, or are they heading into the water? They don't come back out. Um, the skeletal ones head out. Okay. Uh, the unshod horse ones are heading in, and the humanoid ones, the human ones, are in and out. Okay. When you say out, you mean just from the water out into the surroundings. Yeah, and then they continue off further, like further upstream. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, and as you guys are kind of uh, looking around at these tracks, there's like um, uh, almost like a like a venting from kind of the top of the island uh, as these foul-smelling gases are emitted. Oh, it's a geyser. From the top of the spire? Uh, from the top and parts of the spire. Oh, okay. Oh, it is a geyser. Interesting. Okay. Well, there's some activity happening over there of some variety. Traxton would make sure that everybody knows about the comings and goings of these pathways. And, and foul gases. Mm -hmm. Skeletal. Um individuals as well yeah no that's an odd one no flesh on the on the bones that i could see do we want to see what's going on out there yeah maybe with the spyglass we'll be able to oh sure yeah i'll check it out see if we can get a better look uh sure give me a perception check 
I don't mind passing it around too if anybody else wants to try. Oh, and uh, Traxton, you can tell the the skeletal footprints go off to the uh, off to the east from where you are. The ones that come out of the water, they go to the, or sorry, the east. They they go into the water. Um, no, I was just looking so I can give you an idea. They have headed east from where you are, so they basically went east along the kind of this way. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, it's no matter what the, f uh, you can't make out any real details of the island. You can tell it's like, uh, the, like limestone, limestone cliffs. Yeah. Um, uh, there's a, uh, 25. Uh, actually you can see, uh, there are, that there are a set of, uh, a set of prints. Uh, on that island as well, look like the uh, the unshod horse prints. Hmm. Do they appear to be like going into it, or just onto the island? You can just see that they're on the island. It looks right. like it looks like it went from here to the island, uh, but there's no sign of uh, of those hoof prints heading away from here. So a horse or a horse-like entity. Uh, who went on to the island as far as I can tell uh, but anyone else is welcome to use the spyglass if they want to uh, give it a shot um, and uh, Father Hall you you would be aware that uh, like almost two years ago um, when you guys had your uh, I can't remember which issue it was it might have been the might have been the food shortage you got assistance from the Nomad Heights Druids, uh, Centaur Druids, who live in this area. Yeah, I was going to say, wasn't there Centaurs up here? Yep. Oh. I mean, maybe we should just yell out and see if they're here. Sure. How's that work, Traxman? Do you just barge in or do you, do you have a greeting? What do you mean? You, you're Druid types. Um, right. Uh, you realize we're not all the same, though. Yes? Oh, that, well, obviously, but you're probably closer to them than I'm them, to them, yes? Well, maybe. All depends on um, their piety, I suppose. Uh, Yeah, just shout out. Just call out across the river. Is it, is it not a rushing river, is it? Or... Uh, there is you a water. Mean, there is a waterfall nearby. Yeah, I was gonna say you did mention some uh, cliffs and whatnot. So as long as oh. there's, sorry, Prof can get loud. I think there used to be. Oh, that's, that's true. Yeah, I can. I can use my auditorium voice. Your outside voice. Okay. I'll. Uh, yeah, I'll cast bullhorn and. <laughs> call out to the friends of the area for 500 feet. Okay. The, the professor's voice like booms and echoes through this, uh, through this kind of valley. And there is no response. Oh, maybe they're not home. It's true. However, the skeletal tracks have me a bit worried if there is a centaur or druid over there is having trouble the the island itself like it looks like you could get out of the water and get up onto the island pretty easily mm -hmm. okay i'm just gonna go to the edge of the water here and just Make sure it doesn't seem to be immediately sort of hostile. And what I mean there is like there's no, I don't see anything swimming around in there and it doesn't look real deep or fast. Uh, I'll just start walking across the water towards the island. Okay. It is probably about um, like four or five feet deep. Okay. Uh, but um, there's not a super strong current here. It's kind of like, you know, like after after a waterfall. Everything's kind of calm for a little bit until the river starts picking up more and more steam. 
Gotcha. So almost like a little lagoon. There is like one or two places where you have to like kind of like swim walk sort of thing. Okay. Uh, but you can make yourself your way over. Well, let's go. I'll uh, I'll ride a crouch across if he lets me. He does. Perfect. Hearing it's five feet deep makes me think I'm going to need help. He get he gets growly if you try to grab him around the face though. But other than that, you're fine. Yeah, and no, I'll just find some like thick tufts of fur like on his shoulders or something. Oh yeah. There's lots of that. Grab a hold of that rope. I've um I've left him for some reason. I can't see him anymore. So I don't know if that's an issue, but he would uh, he would come with us. I think there was just uh, I think there was a wall. Yeah, for some reason on the shore there. And when we get closer, does it start smelling like sulfur, like like geysers and things? Uh, yeah. no, it doesn't. It smells like uh, it smells like decay. Oh, that's sad. not a good sign. Sad face. Okay. Uh, and it doesn't it doesn't sound like it doesn't smell like that like kind of like plant fungal decay that you're familiar with. This is more of like a natural like meat rot sort of smell. Okay. A carrion sort of smell. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, a different kind of druid, I suppose. Possible. Could be this is just something local where creatures come to die. I don't know. Like a oh, druid, a grave elephant, elephant boneyard kind of thing. The druid graveyard or something. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, we'll just start moving through the area. Keep in mindful of where we're walking because I'm. I don't want to step on a vent of. For sure. All right. Uh, everybody give me perception checks as you kind of spread out and start searching the island. Like I said, it's not a super big island. Gotcha. Liam's like, this is nice. Little vacation home. I like Island. Uh, Traxton and the Professor and Snow Maple. Uh, so, uh, you find a couple of things. You find uh, the uh, there there are prints here. Uh, there is uh, kind of at the foot of the cliff where the beach meets the limes, limestone. There's a dark opening in the stone, partially obscured by like creepers and dangling foliage. Oh. Um, and kind of on the uh, there's a natural cleft in the side of the stone tower, uh, like the the thing that creates kind of an overlook. Uh, it's a sixty foot drop down to the surface of the water, and the vines along the back wall kind of hide a door that you can notice. So basically, it's uh. So there's an overlook, but it's sixty feet up. Yeah, like you guys basically went up like a little limestone cliff to get up to the top of the island. Right. Mm -hmm. And then, like over, because it's not on the map, but there's like the the spire that kind of like causes an overhang. Kind of in this area, like the the spire is not perfectly central to the island. Okay. Uh, and, and there's it. Sorry. Yeah, and, and then there's a, and there's a door. And then there is a door part way down the cliff. But there's also a, a what we what we seem to be a cave entrance as well somewhere. And there is a there is an opening in the uh, in the limestone cavern wall. Gotcha. Uh, so dark opening or an overlook sixty feet up to a door. Yeah. I say we check. I say we head towards the door. Yeah. Yeah, I was also going to... If something went down here, I'd feel safer checking the door. The, and the hole is the hole in the cavern is super overgrown, right? Like, it's hard to see and... Yes. Okay. So, probably nothing has been in and out of that in recent history, anyway. Uh, I'll climb up to the... 
overlook and see if I can get some ropes uh, going for people. I've got a climber's kit. All right. Uh, give me a climbing roll. Oh, yeah. All right. So, yeah, so, you, I mean, it takes some time. You do manage to climb up. Basically, you can... And, yeah, it's close. No one will take your time. Uh, you know, it's just in general. All right. Um, so, when you get to the door, uh, the door does appear to be... It appears to be locked. Uh, and there are some uh, some symbols on the door. Right. Uh, so, I'll, I'll, I'll set up some ropes first. Might as well get some more eyes on this. Okay. Just so that everybody has an easier time getting up. Well, athletics to get up there? Uh, with the ropes, you can do it easily. Okay. See. These markings on the door, are they druidic? No, they're not. Okay. Are they a language anyone can, can read? Uh, probably. Uh, it, I think it's Society for Decipher Language. Yeah, I'll make a society check. That's what I'm a professor of. I'm not a professor, but I got a pretty decent role. You've been using it more often in the past couple of years than I have. Uh, so as you're kind of looking at it, those are um, those are basically arcane sigils, uh, indicating that this door is magically locked. Right, magical oh. lock. Got you. Uh, actually, with the twenty nine, you recognize those as being from um, uh, Ioberia. Ioberia? Ioberia. What is Ioberia? Uh, Ioberia was uh, an ancient centaur um, civilization. Oh. Like hundreds of years ago. Interesting. And as we're close to this, this sort of structure now, is it indeed uh, like a natural formation that's been carved into, or is it constructed? Uh, it looks like it was grown. Oh, okay. That's probably some kind of sacred site to them. We should maybe leave it alone. Um, the meat, rotten meat smell, is it possible for me to track that down at all? Uh, it's coming from inside and being vented out. Okay. I would ordinarily agree with you, Snow Maple, but I think there's enough word against the fact that this isn't how it's supposed to be. Hmm? I don't like the sound of nobody being home, or the skeletal footprints, or the rotting smell. Uh, I still think that this might just be a place where they come to die and not where they live. We should check to make sure they're okay. Well, the dead, if they do come to die here, the dead don't stay here because they come out and go down to the stream, don't they? The tracks that I found? Uh, yeah, the tracks kind of headed the like probably half a dozen like large size skeletal feet. Yeah, 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 yeah. My vote is for to check is this place. Is it feet out. or hooves? Feet. Okay. There's there's the the human footprints, the skeletal footprints, the big skeletal footprints, and the unshodden horse prints. Mm -hmm. I could try to bypass this door. It's locked, right? You want to break it down, you mean? I mean, we could just go in the big open hole where That's... the undead thing is are coming in. Well, maybe. Get I could try to dispel the magic. Oh, sure, yeah, true. Remove the arcane lock or whatever it is. Are we certain there's no arcane trap on this as well, or is that something else we have to determine?
I could detect magic, but it's got to just ping the signal. Yeah. De detect magic does specifically does not detect magical traps. No. I think we should try the cave. Sure, yeah. If that leads to nothing, then we can come up and open the door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Agreed. Uh, does it look like the door has been opened at all in recent history? No. Okay. Yeah, something happened here. Mm. Yeah, let's let's get down off this and head into that hole first. See what we can see. Only thing to be said for positive in this situation, if the inside matches the outside, it shouldn't be a very big space. Uh, the squares on this map are 50 feet, so... Oh, never mind then. <laughs> Objects Ignore... in the rearview mirror are closer than they see. They... Yeah, there's a giant map world. Ignore me then, yep. Alright, so you guys are making your way to the, uh, the cavern entrance? Right. Try and avoid the breaking and entering for now, if we can. Um, so yeah, so uh, it is a darkened passageway beyond the, the entrance, uh, decorated on the east and west with like various alcoves. Ooh, okay. This place up a little. Interesting. Uh, and as you kind of make your way in, uh, somebody can give me uh, an Arcana check. Not it. I'll do an arcana. Um, yeah, is it know, recall knowledge great. or is it arcana? Uh, it's arcana. Okay. Our wizard would been insane. Arcana. Oh, I will hero point that. It's true. We had to have him committed. Uh, you're pretty sure that some of the symbols carved in the walls are um, uh, were of an arcane nature, but nope. you can't you can't identify what they were. Uh, there are f fairly recent tracks in the thick dust. Okay. So the comings and goings have been coming and going through here. Uh, and, uh, one of the, uh, the tracks, since tracks are rolled so well, the, uh, the human ones are the oldest. The next oldest are the skeletal ones. And then the most recent ones are the hoof prints. Oh, okay. Um, and it kind of leads, uh, the, the human footprints lead up to, uh, like a bunch of like broken and spilled, uh, amphora. Uh, basically, um. Like uh, like little jars that would have held like uh, oils or perfumes or whatever. Gotcha. I'll see if uh, I can scatter it out. Okay. Um, approximately how old are the footprints? 
uh, tracking role? Oh, I'm I'm asking Traxton <laughs> in that case. Yep, okay. Traxton. I'll, I'll, make a, I'll make a tracking roll. D D D tracking roll. Hey, oh, it's not good. I rolled I rolled a one, but I got a twenty. <laughs> Uh, so that is, that is, uh, only a, actually, uh, that's only a failure instead of critical failure. Gotcha. Hmm. Yeah. Actually, screw it. I've got a hero point. We're almost done for today. Uh, let's reroll that. Hey, and a three. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, so yes, uh, the oldest is the humans and they're like a couple weeks old. Uh, the the most recent ones the um, the the hoof prints are like a couple of days and then the skeletal ones are, you know, maybe a week. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Snow Maple's kind of making her way, uh, making her way forward. Yeah. What have I got up by the door here, Greg? So the uh, the door is uh, there does seem to be like a kind of an archway. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, uh, carved with uh, various runes and symbols that Professor says are arcane, but doesn't know what exactly they mean. Mm -hmm. um, but as you kind of open it up, you do see there is like a pile of like kind of like spilled and broken jars and stuff, glitter of coin. Ooh. Oh, I'm intrigued. The magic word. Uh, and a jade bracelet. Oh. Ooh. I continue to be intrigued. There you go. I don't know if you can open it and drag the loot. Yes, please. Uh, it is a, it is a very well-made jade bracelet. Ooh. If I cast Translate on these runes, would that help at all? It might. Yeah, I'll use two charges from the staff to cast Translate. Right. Um, so yeah, so as the, the staff kind of like lights up and you kind of like uh, wave it up and down. It um, those are those are like alarm yeah. runes and warding runes, and they have been expended. Interesting. Uh, I will bring the... Oh, everybody's coming up. All right. Yep. Uh, I'll... Uh, I'll throw uh, uh, everyone the bracelet. Gotcha. Uh, professor, you can give me a crafting roll. Sure. Uh, so yeah, it's a very, very well-made like jade, uh, jade bracelet. But then you're kind of looking at it for a second. You kind of hold it up. And you realize, uh, it's it's not a bracelet. Uh, it's a ring. Oh, oh, oh. That's a big I ass see. ring. That's a big ass ring, yo. <laughs> How tall are the ceilings here? Uh, the ceilings here are quite tall. Oh, no. I will let Snow Maple know that this is the biggest ring I've ever seen. Uh, so, yeah, so the, the ceilings kind of arch. So, like, the, the walls are 10 feet, but then the, ce the, the ceiling itself is 15 feet in the center and 20 feet high in most rooms. Mm hmm Crap. Where, the, like where the, the skeleton tracks undead? They're not uh, giant size, or no? Yes, they were. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, it's been swell. Uh, it's like we can't stay. It's like, <laughs> yeah. It's like, that's not a bracelet, that's a ring. Then we look at the walls, and we look how, how tall the, the hallways are, and we're like, oh shit. I mean, according to legend, giants are some of the finest craftsman in history 
go. It, it'd be a shame to leave things like this just to what? Gather dust? Oh, oh no, we're taking these things. I just don't know if we want to go much further. It's like a door prize, because it's by the door. Well, you said everything here was expended, didn't you? As I look at the runes and stuff, maybe... Maybe it's already been taken care of. Or maybe there's a giant lich around the next corner. Uh, Only one way to find out. Sure. I feel like I don't know what a lich is, so it's fine. Making your way further in? Gary, undead wizard. Yeah. So a giant uh, undead wizard. Yeah. Uh, what the... What the uh, the father and, and the flower think. If either of them want to chime in before we go away. Uh, Tony's just off to pick up his uh, stepson from oh. work. So. Okay. Yeah. In that case, we'll look um, around and fucking find out. What do, what do you think, Flower? I want to fight it. Yeah. Well, right. Hopefully there's there's nothing to fight. Can I In do a little peek around this corner, Chris? I literally can't say no to a fight. <laughs> it, it is what you do. It's right. just the fight Flower's the thing. It's... Uh, all right, so, so so maybe let's kind of take a look, and you can see that it looks like uh, basically there's a there's a bunch of uh, there's a bunch of rubble. Um, yeah, does it look like the like part of the ceiling fell in or? Uh, no, uh, give me uh, architecture lore, or like oh. stonemasonry lore. Don't, oh, don't have either one of those today. Or uh, or crafting. Obviously, having the Lord does make it easier. Yeah, there you go. It should be fairly easy to determine, though, if like chunks are missing out of the wall and or ceiling. Um, it doesn't look like anything is missing from the ceiling or the wall. Okay, well, that's good. Uh, I'll take that as enough. Uh, I'll warn everyone that there's uh, some debris. Actually, Flower can make a perception check with a plus two bonus. Assuming he goes up to take a look as well. Yeah, if it's a stone thing, I would definitely... It's to notice unusual stonework, right? Yep. Yeah. Definitely consult the expert. There we go. All right. Um, so yeah, so it doesn't look like it like part of the wall caved in or part of the ceiling caved in, but it looks like there used to be a wall there um, that was broken with tremendous force from the east. Huh. There was a wall there. Broken from right. that way. So it got busted out towards us. Towards you. Right. Cool aid man style. Yeah. Well. Wow. Yeah. All right. Tiptoe through the debris. Oh, okay. As you step forward, we're not gonna we're not gonna get into the combat, but. Um, as you kind of step forward, uh, so this uh, this chamber vaults to a height of nearly thirty feet at the center of the room, it's shaped like a diamond with squared off corners. Uh, northern corners a wall of mortared stone. The eastern and southern corners have been have empty cobweb shrouded alcoves hiding stone briars. Uh, looking at the, the way that the dust is, it looks like there was a scuffle here. 
and there may about to be again. Uh, and you can give me a perception check. Uh, so, kind of across the way, you see this skull-headed, vulture-winged creature. That oh. has, in fact, noticed you. Oh, good. Uh, and you like when you kind of see it, you kind of lock eyes with it. It disappears from sight and teleports into the room. So it was further back, and it teleports into the middle of the room. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Uh, as does the other one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It looks like it's made of maggots and bones. Uh, that's because it is. Oh, true. I didn't, I didn't zoom in, but now I am. Oh, I wish I didn't zoom in. It's like, it's got like rice on it. What I yeah. thought it was. Mm. Forbidden rice. Not. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oops. That's not good. The, the world's gone out. dark. No, it means <laughs> we've, we've teleported out. All We're right. safe. Oh no. Yeah. We're not safe. We're never safe. Yeah. That's the whole point. Okay. Infectious aura? Yeah. I don't like that. Yeah, know. and as it teleports in and uh, kind of this wave of nausea hits Snow Maple, uh, and uh, I think we'll call it there. <laughs> uh, but for the uh, for the um, the Cradle of Lamash 2, uh, everybody gets 224 XP. Oh, wow. That's a chunk. Yeah, two, two big fights, I guess. 224? 224. Okay. And that should be right. our total at this level, right? Yep. Okay. That's what I thought. As you mentioned, we were at zero before. Uh, but yes, these, uh, these two maggoty skull-headed uh, creatures bamf into the room. Uh, and as they do so, Snow Maple turns kind of like pale and clammy. The uh, the infectious aura gives you a minus two status penalty to save against disease effects. Oh God! And if a creature I don't, within I don't appreciate that. That's... And if if a creature within range contracts or progresses a disease, all adjacent creatures are exposed to the same disease. My fortitude save is low enough. Thank oh, you very much. Oh, God. Uh, that is rude as hell. Nobody gets sick. Nobody. Uh, and actually, uh, since Tony's here, uh, Tony, give me a religion roll real quick. Sure. Nasty, rotted, demon, infectious. Uh, I'm sure these things. things don't have any diseases that they spread. Oh, no. With, the, with, with their glance, I guarantee it, they're going to spread disease. Uh, so yeah, you do recognize these things. Uh, these are leucodaemons. They are skull-headed, vulture-winged demons, harbingers of pestilence and servants of their horsemen, Apollon. They are manifestations of evil souls who persist, uh, perish from disease, and they work to spread disease across all the worlds of the multiverse. Uh, that sounds bad. Um, so yeah, in uh, in alignment parlance, the demons are like the kind of the neutral evil creatures. Oh, okay. Uh, and uh, with that role, uh, Father Hall, you realize that you're not a hundred percent sure this is a fight you can win. Oh. I I was sold on running away already. Uh, but with that kind of realization, we'll uh, we'll call it there. Yeah, All right. 
Um, and we'll pick this up in a couple of weeks so you guys can decide what you would like to do. All righty. Uh, thanks for running, Chris, as always. Yep. Have a good night, yes. folks. Uh, for those of you that I don't talk to before next weekend, have a good Easter. Uh, it sounds like there's no game next Sunday, so... Yeah, I imagine yeah. we'll be doing Easter dinner. Frank, I imagine we'll be doing Easter dinner. So, uh, But we'll see everybody in a couple of weeks. Sounds right. good. Uh, Sounds good. good. Thanks for running. Yep. Yeah.